So guys, you ready to watch the WWE fight tonight? Yeah! Hell yeah, Bone Crusher's gonna fight Jeffrey the Giraffe. Wait, Jeffrey the Giraffe from Toys R Us? Yeah. Oh, Jeffrey's gonna get his ass beat, dude. Well, I'm gonna go for Jeffrey. Well, I want Bone Crusher to win. He always wins. Yeah, he crushes bones, dude. Well, let's turn it on so we can watch. Hello and welcome to the WWE Championship. Today, it's Bone Crusher versus Jeffrey the Giraffe. Come on, Jeffrey. Let's go, Bone Crusher! Crush the bones! The winner gets this championship belt! Let the fight begin! Come here, Jeffrey! Oh, he's got the stool! Oh, that's gotta hurt! Ouch! Oh, Bone Crusher's not playing today. He's trying to crush his skull with a stool! I got something special for you, Jeffrey! Are you ready for some bone crushing? Bone crushers opened up a can of whoop ass! Help! Help! Where you think you're going? Come back here! Where you going? Time for the dragon, bro! Oh, I think he's done. One, two, three, it's over. Bone Crusher's the champion. I told you I could go it. I told you I would win. Bone Crusher wins. Yay! I told you Bone Crusher was gonna beat Jeffrey. Oh, poor Jeffrey. It's just not fair. Bone Crusher's too good. He's undefeated. Well, I could beat him. No, you couldn't. Yes. Why could it be easy? Well, there's no way they'll ever let some stupid kid versus Bone Crusher. Yeah. What? Hey, kids, have you ever wanted to fight Bone Crusher? I sure wouldn't. Well, we're having a charity event with the Mana Food Bank, and whoever can donate the most cans of food gets a can of whoop ass in the ring with Bone Crusher. Damn right. So donate as many cans of food as you can today. Oh my god, Jeffy, look! There's a chance you can fight Bone Crusher! All you have to do is donate a bunch of cans of food. Well, I don't have a bunch of cans of food. All right, Jeffy, it's time for dinner. Come on. Oh, all right, guys. I gotta go eat dinner. I'll be back. Okay, Jeffy, here's your dinner. Green beans. I'm so grateful. And we went to the store and bought you a month's supply of food. Jeez, you really shouldn't have. You know I don't like green beans, so I don't know why you even do it. At this point, it's child abuse. Yeah, Marvin, why do you keep giving him green beans? Because they're good for him. False! This sodium in here is 380 milligrams, which is enough to put me in cardiac arrest before my 21st birthday. Jeffy, just shut up and eat them. Come on, baby, let's go. You only buy these so they end up on the floor. So let's start with that. Wow, that is a lot of cans of food. I could turn those in and fight Bone Crusher. That's what I'm gonna do. Guys, check out all these cans of food. Wow, Jeffy, that's so many green beans. I bet if you donated all those green beans, they'd let you fight Bone Crusher. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And lose? I'm not gonna lose. I think you guys are underestimating my R strength. Well, wait, how do we donate those cans? Like, where do we go? Well, I'll just call up the WWE Association and tell them to come get their beans. Hey there, I'm Steve Staleberger. I represent the WWE. Why'd you call me? Because I wanted to turn in all these cans of green beans to fight Bone Crusher. Holy moly, that's a lot of cans. You win. You get to fight Bone Crusher. Wait, he wins? No one else donated cans? No, nobody else donated cans because they don't want to fight Bone Crusher. They don't want to die. Well, I'm going to win. Okay, whatever you say, kid, as long as you sign all the waivers. Now, I'm going to collect all these cans. Just hold on. Let me go pop my trunk. Wow, Jeffy, you get to fight Bone Crusher. Are you nervous? No, because I know I'm going to win. Oh, ma make room. He has to get the cans. So what's your wrestling name going to be? My what? Your wrestling name. You need a scary wrestling name like Bone Crusher. He has a scary name. Yeah. Um, mine could be Poopy Diaper. Well, that's not very intimidating. Well, it is when there's a grumpy in my diaper. Dude, it has to be something cool. Yeah, something scary. Yeah, like heart disease. That's not scary, Cody. Well, it's the number one cause of death in America. Well, how about something like the big bad wolf? And you dress up like a wolf, and then you can say, I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna beat your ass. Ooh, that's yeah, fire, dude. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, Jeffy, so go dress up like a wolf, and then go fight him. I, I promise you, you'll be scary. All right. 
Hello and welcome to another WWE World Championship. Tonight, Bone Crusher has decided to donate his belt to whoever wins. So in this corner, we have Bone Crusher. Your bones are gonna get crushed today. And in this corner, the Big Bad Wolf! I'm gonna huff and puff and knock your ass out! Okay, let the fight begin! You ready to die, kid? I'm gonna kick your ass! Get off me! You know who I am? I'm Bone! Okay, that's it! No more going easy on you! All right, you ready? No! Oh, Jeffy used the stool. Okay, that kid's gonna die. Okay. Oh, bonked him with the claw hammer. I don't know if that's legal, folks. All right, he's gonna die. Screw this. Uh, ah! Hey, kid, stop. You know this is off a show, right? It's wrestling. It's fake. You're going a little too hard. You're actually starting to hurt me. You're not going to trick me, Bone Crusher. No! no kid, stop. No! <laughs> oh, he used the chair. This might be over early, folks. Uh, hey, man, do you want me to stop this? Because he's kicking your ass. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Oh, from the top of the ropes! That's gotta hurt! Listen, kid, just pick up my leg and tap me out. It's over, you win. And you kick me in your face? I'm not falling for that, bum crusher! Where's he going? Someone tell me where he's going! Where's he going? Oh my god! Dear Lord, he has the ladder! Are you ready to die, fucker? No, please! Please don't do it! No! No! no. Oh. One, two, three! He's dead! Woo! The Big Bad Wolf wins! The winner by murder, the Big Bad Wolf! Yeah, I told those three little pigs that I would win! Wow, Jeffy wasn't lying. He really kicked Bone Crusher's ass. Like, he killed him. Hey guys, check out my new belt! I got that W! Jeffy, why'd you go so hard? You killed the guy. Well, he was asking for it! You do know wrestling's fake, right? Oh, I didn't know that. But then news! Breaking news, okay? Bone Crusher, a famous wrestler, has died. His funeral will be held tonight for anyone who wants to attend. Oh, wow, he's actually dead. I thought maybe he was faking it. No, I felt his neck snap. Oh, man, now my favorite wrestler's dead. Oh, R.P. Bone Crusher. Wow, Jeffy, good going. You killed Joseph's favorite wrestler. Well, I didn't mean to. We should go to his funeral. Yeah, let's go to Bone Crusher's funeral. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of our beloved Bone Crusher, whose bones were ironically crushed in his last wrestling match. Would anyone like to say anything before we bury him six feet under? <laughs> There's something I want to say. There is one thing I would like to say about Bone Crusher. I don't believe he's dead! Oh, 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 oh dear God! The horror! The horror! Oh my God! Jesus, dude, stop! Jeffy, stop it! Oh God! Morphin, Jeffy ate all his green beans! He really did? Yes, he ate every can! Every can? Jeffy wouldn't eat that much! Jeffy, get in here! Hey there, your son's under arrest. For what? Well, he killed a guy and then beat up the guy's corpse at the funeral. Jeffy, why would you do that? Oh, he actually committed a whole alphabet list of crimes. Here, I'll name them off for you. A is for aggravation. Aggravated assault. B is for beating a corpse. C is for choking a corpse. D is for defiling the dead. E is for extortion because he called the guy's parents afterward and then asked for money or else he'd kill them. F is for felonious activity because I'm pretty sure what he did is a felony. G is for grave robbing. H is for hate crime because Bone Crusher had a little bit of black on him, but he's also a skeleton, so I don't really know how that works. I is for ignoring the law. 
J is for jaywalking, because when I tried to arrest him, he crossed the street, but he didn't use a crosswalk. K is for killing. L is for larceny, and I don't know what that means, but it sounds bad. M is for murder. N is for neglect. O is for, oh my god, how could you do that to a corpse? P is for personal injury. Q is for quite ridiculous what he did. R is for resisting arrest. S is for strangulation. T is for threatening, because he threatened me when I tried to arrest him. U is for under the influence, because he must be, because why else would he do that? V is for violence. W is for why would anyone do that? X is for xylophone, because he played the guy's ribs like a xylophone. Y is for why would you do that? Again, why would anyone do that? And Z is for zebra stripes, because he's going to be wearing black and white stripes when he's in jail. Jimmy, why would you do all those things? Because I got this shiny belt for beating up Bone Crusher. Oh, is that real? Yep. I've always wanted a WWE belt. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll, I will drop all these charges if you give me that belt. But I won this fair and square. Jeffy, give him the damn belt. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I'm going to be like a wrestler. Here, take it. Oh, sweet. Jeffy, I cannot believe you did all that, but I, I, you got really lucky that he wanted your stupid belt. Now, I have one more question. Did you really eat all your green beans? Did you check the floor? Ooh, you goober! All right, Cody, you go first. Okay. <sighs> Oh, this is so lame. Yeah, it is. You guys want to go to a real bowling alley? Yeah, I love bowling. Dude, you know I love bowling. Well, I don't want to go to a bowling alley to bowl, you silly twats. Well, what else do we do at a bowling alley? Eat cheese sticks. They have cheese sticks? Ooh, oh. cheese sticks are good. Do they have cheese sticks? They have the best cheese sticks in the county. And you get a deal. Four cheese sticks for $4.73. That's more than a dollar per cheese stick. I know. That's how good they are. It's like an explosion of mozzarella in your mouth. Sometimes I like to take four cheese sticks and bite the tips off and let all the cheese drain into my mouth. It's like cheese bukkake. Oh, God, you made me hate cheese sticks. I think we should at least go try them if they're that good. After that description, dude? I mean, I think we should try it. Well, let's make sure everybody has the money. I do. I do. I don't. Well, I have $10, Joseph, so if you drink this entire gallon of hand sanitizer, I'll give you the money for the cheese sticks. Oh, you're on, dude. Joseph, don't drink that hand sanitizer. Dude, it's just like a full-body cleanse. No, it's really not. It's for your hands. Well, I don't have $4.73. I already gave half my money to Joseph. Unless he's not gonna drink the hand sanitizer. Oh, I'm gonna drink you, dude. Why don't you just ask your dad? But what if he says no? Um, cry? Good idea. I'm on it. Get to drinking, Joseph. All right. Hey, Daddy. I don't want to eat my green beans, Daddy. Jeffy, what are you talking about? I need to borrow $4.73. Sell your toys. Marvin, you didn't even ask why he needs that money. <sighs> Jeffy, why do you need almost $5? So I can get some cheese sticks. You don't need to be eating cheese sticks. They're so greasy and unhealthy. You need to eat something like green beans. Well, I don't want to eat my green beans, Daddy. The answer's no. <laughs> $5. No, he needs to learn how to make money like an adult. Jeffy, you want to make money? You stop that. You cut that out. You need to sell your toys if you want to make money. All right, fine. But when I get hit by a train, it's all your fault. What does the train have to do with selling toys? Okay, Cody, I'm going to take my turn while we wait for Jeffy. Okay, do it. I don't know why you need my approval. <laughs> Gutter ball. Dude, you suck, man. <laughs> Drink your fucking sanitizer. <laughs> hey, guys. What'd your dad say? He said no. Did you cry? Of course I did. And he still didn't give you the money? No, he told me I gotta sell my toys. What, sell your toys? Well, what kind of toys would we sell that we'd even make money from? All these toys are way too valuable. Well, you could sell that old eight ball. Oh, yeah, you could sell the eight ball. It doesn't work ever since I dared Joseph to drink the liquid that was inside it. Dude, you dare me to drink something, I'm gonna drink it. No matter what it is, I'm gonna go that bitch down. Well, what? Well, before we sell it, I think we should probably fill it up with some kind of liquid so that it actually works. And it has to be a dark liquid so it actually looks like the liquid inside an eight ball. Well, I have this Coca-Cola. He could fill the eight ball up with Coke. Oh, that would work. All right, Jeffy, fill the eight ball up with this so it actually works. Okay. All right, guys, I filled the eight ball full of Coke. Well, shake it to make sure it works. Well, hold on, hold on. I think we should ask the eight ball if it wants to be sold for cheese sticks. Good idea, Junior. Should we sell you for cheese sticks? As I see it, yes. Well, sell that motherfucker, Jeffy. 
All right, Diddy. I found the toy I wanted to sell, Diddy. Jeffy, you have thousands of toys, and the only toy you want to sell is a stupid eight ball? Yeah, it's my eight ball full of Coke. What? Why are you calling it that? Well, because the eight ball was missing the liquid out of it, so I filled it out with Coca-Cola. Nobody's going to want to buy your stupid toy full of soda. Well, where do I sell it at? You can try to sell it at a pawn shop, I guess. Okay, Diddy. Stop talking like that. Officer Simmons, Officer Gar, get in here. Hey sir, me and Simmons are arguing again. So when we execute somebody by firing squad, only one of us has a real bullet, right? The rest are blanks? That's right. See Simmons, I told you we only get one real bullet. Well, can I have the real bullet? No, you're not supposed to know who has the real bullet. That way you don't feel bad for shooting someone. Oh, I won't feel bad. I want to shoot someone. Yeah, see, that's the problem, sir. I also want to shoot someone. So can we both please get real bullets? No, 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 that's not how it works. But sir, if he's gonna die anyway, we might as well shoot him twice. It'd probably be quicker that way. Yeah, I'll shoot his head. And I'll shoot his heart. It's a win-win. Win. Look, boys, that's not why I called you in here. Now, there's this pawn shop that we believe has been buying and selling illegal narcotics. So we got a warrant from Judge Pooby for you boys to go in there and put a bug. And whenever you hear them talking about illegal activity, you go into that pawn shop and bust their asses. Well, sir, are you sure we have a warrant from Judge Pooby? Ask him yourself. Yes, I granted the warrant. Okay, good. It's always good to have a warrant, kids. But sir, if we bust this pawn shop, can me and Simmons please get real bullets next time we do a firing squad? I'll think about it. You hear that, Simmons? He's gonna think about letting us shoot somebody. Oh, goody. Come on. Hey, welcome to Gary's Goodies Pawn Shop. If we don't have it, for the right amount of money, I can get it. Wait, doesn't a dolphin usually run this place? Nah, he runs the pawn shop across the street. So what can I get for you? I have Tom Brady's Super Bowl rings. I have a Dragon Ball. I have the Pink Panther Diamond. Oh, I have this lovely Lady of the Night that's only been used twice by me. But for an extra surcharge, I can wash it for you. No, I'm good. Wait a minute. You guys aren't cops, are you? Because your outfits look like cop outfits. No, these are our Halloween costumes. It's February. Oh, darn. I thought it was October. Well, I guess we need a calendar, so we know what month it is. All right, well, let me go check the back to see if we have any calendars. Quick, Simmons, plant the bug. Man, I'm really glad we have these bug-shaped microphones. Yeah, we don't have any calories in the bag. Oh, darn. Well, I guess we'll check Walmart. Thank you. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You left your weird bug-shaped thing on my counter. Oh, you know what? You can keep it. That's fine. Okay, shit. More product for me. All right, Simmons. Now we just have to sit here and listen until we hear some illegal activity going on. Hey, welcome to Gary's Goodies Pawn Shop. If we don't have it, for the right amount of money, I can get it. Well, I got something to sell. Okay, what you got to sell? I got an eight ball of Coke. Holy shit, a whole eight ball of Coke? The street value of that's like $350, so I could probably give you like 300 right now for it. Okay. You hear that, Simmons? He's straight up buying an eight ball of cocaine from someone right now. We got him. Now let's see if they admit to anything else. All right, kid, let me see the Coke. All right, it's right here in this eight ball. Holy shit, you're telling me that eight ball is filled to the top with Coke? Yep, all the way to the top. That's way more than three and a half grams. That's gonna be a whole ass pound. That's like $45,000 worth of Coke. Listen, kid, I'll give you 30 grand for that right now. Okay, I can buy a lot of cheese sticks with that. Yes, you could. Holy shit, he's selling a pound of cocaine. That's distribution. And he said he's gonna buy cheese sticks for $30,000. That must be some kind of new street drug. All right, kid, here's your 30 grand. Pleasure doing business with you. And hey, if you wanna borrow my lady the night, you can free a charge. Okay. I think I will. I'm sure to my daddy. All right. Well, I'm going to go bust this bad boy open and get all the coke out. Come on, Simmons. We got to go bust him. Go, 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 go. Oh. Uh, Mike, can you unlock the door? What? It's not locked. It is locked. I can't open it. Well, hold on. Okay, I'll unlock it. I'm trying to open it. It won't open. What? You're, you're trying to open it as I'm pushing the button. No, I'm not. What? Simmons, stop, stop, stop. Just wait, just wait. I got it. Okay, god damn it. All right. Time to pour my eight ball of coke into my father's coke jar. Wait a minute, what is this? This isn't coke. What is that, like black paw heroin? <gasps> I'm gonna be rich! Freeze, you're under arrest! For what? For buying a whole bunch of coke. We heard the whole thing, we bugged the place. Yeah, well I didn't buy a whole eight ball of coke because the eight ball was filled with this weird brown liquid. Let me see that. Oh, that's Coca-Cola. What? <laughs> you're telling me that I just spent 30 grand on an eight ball of Coca-Cola? <laughs> yeah, you did. But Simmons, this means we can't arrest him because he didn't actually buy any drugs. Yeah, you jerkwads! The only way you'd be able to arrest me is if I had an actual eight ball of coke that looks something like that right there. Get on the ground! All right, sir, we got him. Possession of cocaine. Right here. <laughs>
Uh, Why is he crying? Because I just spent $30,000 on an eight ball of Coca-Cola! Yeah, some kid came in and scammed him. He gave him $30,000 and the kid said he was going to spend it on cheese sticks. Huh, $30,000 for cheese sticks? That doesn't sound right. It must be some new kind of drug. I need you officers to investigate that. Well, I got paperwork and I got to put this in the evidence drawer. I think I know where the kid lives, sir. I'll take care of it. So what happens to me now? Oh, you got a meeting with Big Bob. He's gonna give you a cock meat sandwich. Again? All right, Danny. I saw my eight ball toy at the pawn shop. Yeah, what'd they give you, like 10 cents? $30,000. Wait, what? How? Jeffy, who's your friend? Big Tittia, because she's got big titties. Wait, no, Jeffy, uh, this does not make any sense. Where'd you get that doll? The guy at the pawn shop gave her to me when I sold her my eight ball. Wait, 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 this is not making any sense. Why would the pawn shop give you $30,000 in cash and a doll for a broken eight ball toy with soda inside it? I don't know. The guy just really wanted the Coke that was inside. I guess he was really thirsty. Baby, this is not making sense. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have cheese sticks I have to go buy with my friends. Wait, wait, hold on. Can, can I have some of that money? No, because you didn't believe in me. Come on, baby. Big titty. What? Baby, how did he get all that money? I don't know. All right, guys, I got $30,000 for cheese sticks. That's a little bit more than the $4.73 you needed. Well, come on, guys. Let's go to the bowling alley. I'm buying the cheese sticks. Yeah. Wait, dude, who is her? Big titty. Yes, she is. Ah! All right, guys, come on, let's go to the bowling alley. Wait, I don't think she want to go to the bowling alley. <laughs> I'm going to just go and show her the bathroom floor. <laughs> All right, wash her when you're done. Hey there. Wait, you can't just come inside my house without a warrant. Oh, man, you're right. And I was just talking about how important that is, too. Uh, can we just pretend I have a warrant? This is really important. No, you better leave unless you get a warrant. <sighs> okay. Judge Pooby, can I have a warrant? I'll allow it. Thank you. Okay, I have a warrant. Now, I think your son might be in big trouble. Me too. He's been acting very weird. Yeah, and I was doing a sting operation on a pawn shop earlier, and he came in and sold this guy an eight ball full of Coca-Cola for $30,000. Yeah, I know. I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, and then he said he was going to spend that money on cheese sticks, and I'm worried that might be something dangerous. No, it's nothing dangerous. He just wants to buy cheese sticks from a bowling alley. Wait a minute. Who goes to a bowling alley just for cheese sticks? That seems fishy. Huh, if only I knew what cheese sticks really meant. Hold on, let me check the Urban Dictionary. They know everything. Okay, this first thing says cheese sticks are the best effing food in the world. I mean, that's true, but they don't cost $30,000. The second thing says it's a code word used by gangsters that means beer or alcohol. Okay, but still, alcohol doesn't cost $30,000. Now, this third thing says cheese stick. <gasps> It says cheese stick means unwashed penis. Oh God, I'm so sorry to have to inform you of this, but I think your son might be spending $30,000 on unwashed penis. No, I don't think so. I think he's just going to the bowling lanes to buy cheese sticks. Oh God, and he's going to the bowling alley where all the unwashed penis hangs out. No, no, he just wants the food cheese sticks. Oh God, I really hope you're right. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here and when he comes back, I'm gonna smell his breath. Daddy, I'm home and I brought leftover cheese sticks. Let me smell your breath. <sighs> Hmm, I guess it kind of smells like cheese stick, but then again, I don't really know what unwashed penis smells like. Here, get a whiff. Let me see. My God, it smells exactly the same. It smells like cheese stick, but how? Because I took one of the cheese sticks and rubbed it all over my unwashed wiener. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess I consider this case closed. I was going to have a cheese stick, but I don't know which one he rubbed on his wiener. Oh, I already ate that one. Oh, great. I guess I'll take this one. I dropped that one on the floor. You know what? I'm not gonna have any. Wait, so he gets to keep all the money he took from the drug dealer? Yeah, he didn't do anything wrong, and the drug dealer's just stupid. Unless the drug dealer decides to escape from jail and get his revenge on Jeffy for scamming him! Ooh! No, no, that's probably not gonna happen. We don't really do part twos. Unless... No, no, they, they probably don't want that. Unless you do. Hmm? Part two? Maybe? Tell us. I'm gonna take one of these, I don't care. What do you want to do today? I'm getting kind of hungry. Me too, dude. Yeah, I guess I'm hungry also. Me four. So what do you want to eat? You want to go to McDonald's and get some Happy Meals? Sounds like a plan, Junior. Yeah, let's do it, dude. What? The news is on. You guys, the news is on. Junior, turn up the news. I need to hear it. Okay, damn. Breaking news, okay? McDonald's is now offering adult Happy Meals. Happy Meals for adults. You must be 18 years or older to purchase these Happy Meals. If you are caught purchasing or eating these adult Happy Meals under the age of 18, the penalty can
can be up to a year in jail. Uh, don't Happy Meal! Dude, I wish I could have one! Yeah, me too! But guys, we're not 18 yet. They're adult Happy Meals for a reason. We're just gonna have to stick to little baby bitch meals until we turn 18. Well, I'm 18 years old, so I can have an adult Happy Meal. Lucky! That's so crazy! It's mean, not fair you get to have one and we can't! Wait, we're hanging out with an 18 year old? Wait, what if Jeffy goes and buys the adult Happy Meals for us? Yeah, I'll drive! But guys, that's illegal. If we get caught, we're gonna go to jail! God, I hate you! Shut the hell up! Shut up! Shut up! Ow. Damn it! Yeah! God, we're gonna go do something cool! We need adult Happy Meals! Just stop saying things and come on! Okay. I'm so excited to get the adult Happy Meal. Me too, Junior. Make sure mine's nuggets. Mine too, dude! Alright, check it. We're all adults, so can I get four adult Happy Meals, all with chicken nuggets and Sprite, and of course you know we want that honey mustard. It's so cool. Four happy, adult Happy Meals. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Yeah? They're not against with honey mustard and Sprite. Absolutely. Uh, what if they ID us? We're not 18. Shut up, Cody. Oh, hopefully they don't ID us. I know, you better hide in the back, Junior. Okay, All right, they're, they're, right they're not going to ID you. That's so cool. <laughs> I can't believe we got our adult Happy Meals. They didn't even ID us. I know, Junior. Let's sing the We Got Adult Happy Meals song. We just got adult Happy Meals and we are going to eat them. Yes, we are going to eat them. Yes, we are going to eat them. Yes, we are going to eat them and they're going to be delicious. <laughs> Wait, what's that noise? Oh my god, you guys, it's the cops! We're getting pulled over! Run, nigga! Uh, dispatch, I'm trying to pull over a car with an expired tag, but stand by. It doesn't look like they're pulling over. Ah, Jimmy, the cops! Pull over! No, Junior, I can outrun them! What? What? The, uh, no, pull over! <laughs> Yeah, Jeffy, keep going. I'll bust a few shots at him to scare him away. What? You never take me alive, die, bitch! Jesus Christ, dispatch, they're shooting at me. I need backup. <laughs> I'm all out of ammo. Jeffy, pull over. We're gonna run for it. All right, Joseph, I'm pulling over. Yeah, pull over, pull over, pull over. Okay, okay, I think they're pulling over. I don't know what they're doing. I'm, I'm gonna proceed with caution. Okay, everyone run! Grab your Happy Meals! <laughs> I'm out of here, dude! Uh, uh, guys, my seatbelt stuck, hell! Wait, where'd you put your seatbelt on? He was driving crazy, I didn't want to go through the windshield! Oh, Cody, it's it stuck! The cops are right there, I gotta run, I gotta run! Uh, no! Oh, they got into the car, they're running! I'm pursuing on foot! <laughs> dude! Oh, dude, the cop's getting Cody! Just leave him, leave him, leave him! No, he's gonna snitch! Cody would not do that! Dude, he's the biggest snitch I know! You're, you're right, we have to go get Cody. Yeah, he can't take all three of us. Let's go. Aha, uh -huh. caught by the seatbelt, huh? Well, you and your friends are in a lot of trouble. But if you snitch, I'll let you go. Ow, 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 all right, now let's go home and eat our adult Happy Meal. Yeah! Sit that right there and shut up while we eat our adult Happy Meal. Yeah, punk. What, you guys kidnapped the cop? Yeah, we don't want him to arrest you. But guys, now our charges are going to be ten times worse than they already were. What were our charges going to be before? Well, before it was just going to be us getting these adult Happy Meals, but now it's kidnapping, eluding the police, shooting at the police, assault and battery, and expired tags. Well, look, now we have to kill him because you said you admitted to everything in front of him. Oh, dude, where's the baseball bat? Well, Joseph, before we kill him, let's eat our adult Happy Meal. Oh, yeah. Well, what toy do we get? Ooh, cool. I got the hamburger. Oh, I got an old ducky high on quack. Oh, I got a french fry guy. Oh, wait. They didn't give me a toy! Junior, how would an adult react? I'm gonna go home and beat my wife. Exactly. Okay, you know what? Actually, go back to being a kid. Ah, they didn't give me a toy in my adult happy meal. Yeah, that's actually better. Uh, it's dumb. This adult thing is stupid and dumb. Yeah, I don't really get why these can't be for kids. And I also don't really get why he has four eyes and looks like he was drawn by a five-year-old. These adult happy meals are dumb. Maybe the food tastes different. Maybe, maybe it tastes like for adults. Well, ma'am, I don't know how to tell you this, but your husband's been kidnapped, <gasps> and we don't even know if he's still alive. Oh, my poor boy, <laughs> There, there, ma'am. If you ever need a rebound, I'm available. Everyone, back off! She's mine! I've been waiting for this moment for years! Karen, if you ever need a pelvis to cry on, mine's freshly shaved. I don't think I'm ready to move on just yet! Oh, sure you are, sure you are. Listen, why don't we go back to my place and grab some drinks, maybe some orange juice. I don't think that sounds safe for me. Oh, it's gonna be super safe. We'll just stick to missionary. Okay, everybody get the hell out of my office. Ugh, this chicken nugget doesn't taste any different than a normal Happy Meal. Yeah, and these fries are no different than the free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, which I guess I'll have next week, because I have these right now. I mean, the toy's pretty cool, though, dude. Look, I'm a french fry man. <laughs> His name is not french fry man. His name is Cactus Buddy. What? He doesn't even look like a cactus, dude. He looks like a french fry. I, I have no idea what's going on. What? The news! Yeah. Breaking news! 
OK? A police officer has been kidnapped. If you've seen this police officer, call 911 immediately. The kidnappers are believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. Yeah! Junior, did you hear the news? You hear what they said on the news, Junior? You hear it? You hear the news? Yes, Cody, I heard the news. You did? You heard the news? Yeah, they're looking for the cop that we kidnapped. Good yeah, guys, we're going to go to jail for a million, billion, bajillion years. No, we're not, Cody. No one's ever going to find out that the cop is here. Well, how, Junior? We can't keep him here forever. Sure we can. We can take care of him. We can feed him adult Happy Meals. We can feed him french fries and chicken nuggets. Or we could just eat them like Jeffrey Dahmer did. Did someone say Jeffrey? No, he said Jeffrey. Oh, close enough. No, no, no one's eating anyone. Listen, we can take care of him, guys. Like taking care of a baby. All we gotta do is feed him and he'll be good. Okay? Well, wouldn't you like that little fella? <laughs> Look at that. He's nodding his head. He's so happy. Guys, I don't want to be a part of this. I'm getting out of here before the cops come. What? But I'm taking the Hamburglar with me. What? Don't take the Hamburglar. That's the coolest one. Yeah. Ugh. All right, let's take the duct tape off of him and see if we can reason with him. Okay, dude. Uh, uh, you kids aren't going to get away with this. I've seen your faces. Dude, he's really pissing me off. Can I kill him now? Well, no, we're not going to kill him. We're going to work out a deal. Why are you so cranky, Mr. Officer? Do you want a chicken nugget or a french fry? No, I do not want a chicken nugget or a french fry. You guys kidnapped me. I want you to let me go. We're not going to let you go because then you're going to arrest us. Yes, I will. Well, then there's no reason for us to let you go because you're going to arrest us. Uh, okay, well, maybe I can talk to the judge and get you a lighter sentence. That's not good enough. Yeah, I need $50 million, a private jet, and two tickets to see drinking concert. What? That's completely unreasonable. I can't get those things. Well, well just the two tickets to see drinking concert then. How about you just drop our charges and we'll let you go? But no, I can't do any of that. Okay, then we're not gonna let you go until you drop the charges and you sign a contract saying you're not gonna arrest us. And it's notarized. What? Nobody's gonna notarize anything if they see me tied up. Well, then I'll get a blind notary. What, what would be the point of a blind notary? Well, I don't know. Jeffy, do you know a notary? Yeah, I know a notary. I'll go get him. All right, well, he's gonna go get a notary. You're gonna notarize a document saying you're not gonna arrest us. Yeah. Hey, Junior, I think I found your notary. When I I asked him if he was a notary, he went, uh huh. Uh -huh. What? No, you have to get out of here. You're part of the bad company that tried to sue us. Well, no, he's actually owned by Microsoft. He is? Yeah, he's owned by Rare, which is a subsidiary of Microsoft. But his first game was on the 64 console. Yeah, but then Microsoft bought the rights to him. That's why the third game is so shitty on the Xbox 360. But he's in the new Smash fighting game. Well, yeah, but I'm pretty sure we're in the clear. Well, no, I don't want to risk it. You should just get out of here. I don't, I don't want to get sued. Uh -huh. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? Wait, what kind of toys did you guys get with these adult Happy Meals? Uh, we got the Cactus Buddy, we got the Birdie, and we got the Hamburglar. Whoa, you got the Hamburglar? That's super rare. I want one of those. Well, well Cody has it, and he left. Whoa. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what. If you can get me the Hamburglar, I'll pretend none of this ever happened, and I'll drop all the charges. Oh, but, but, but Cody has the Hamburglar at his house. Look, if you can get him from your friend, then we can have a deal. Well, okay, guys, we have to go to Cody's house to get the Hamburglar, because he'll drop all the charges. Okay, dude. Okay, that was a good distraction. Now get me the hell out of here! All right, guys, we're gonna knock on the door. Cody's gonna give us the hamburger, and they're gonna drop all the charges. All right, let's do it. Hello? Oh, Tyrone, come look! Christmas carolers, they're early! Ooh, Christmas carolers! Wait, wait, sing the one with the red nose! It's October. Sing it! Up, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer! Had a very no, 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 it's all wrong, it's off key, damn it. Now bring me some Jeffy Pudding. Ooh, I now like this bring me Listen, some We're not Christmas carolers, we're here to see Cody. Oh, he's in his bedroom with his new dolly. Yeah, we want to go see him. Oh, no, no, when Cody gets a new dolly, he likes to... Uh, Touch it. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Well, he said that we could come see it. Oh, okay, he's experimenting with something new, come right in. Okay. What a freak Oh, Hamburglar, what secrets do you have in your mind? Hey, Cody. What, guys, what are you doing here? You didn't bring the cops here, did you? No, but we need the Hamburglar back. But no, he's mine! But the cops said if we give him the Hamburglar, he'll drop all the charges. Well, of course he said that. This is the coolest toy. Well, look, we have to take it because one of the charges dropped. But no, I'm not letting you have him. Joseph, Jeffy, tackle him. But no, 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 no. Hold get him off down. Me. Get off me. All right, Cody, I'm going to go give the toy to the cop, and when the charges are dropped, we'll come back. No, no, my Hamburglar! Bring me back my Hamburglar! All right, Simmons, when they get back, we're going to tackle them and arrest them. Well, how many are there, mate? There's four. I get two, you get two. Well, what if they're really strong? They're not strong, Simmons. They're kids. Well, they were strong enough to kidnap you and tie you up. Yeah, well, don't worry about it, Simmons. We got this. Okay, they're coming. Hide. All right, I got the hamburger toy. Wait, where'd the officer go? Get him, Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be kidnapped me, huh? Where are your friends? <laughs> they already left the country. Well, it looks like you're getting all the charges then. Cuff them, Simmons. I don't have any handcuffs. Wait, really? You don't have any handcuffs? No. I don't want to go to jail. Yeah, well, maybe you should have thought about that before you got those Happy Meals and you fleed from me and you beat me up and you kidnapped me and you, you did all that. Oh, look, I got you the hamburger toy. You said you'd leave me alone. You think I care about this stupid little toy? Well, look, we got to work out a deal. I won't last a day in jail, please. Hmm, work something out, huh? Like like some kind of game? Okay, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. If you can guess what that number is, I'll let you go. Uh, 7? Damn it. Um, if you can guess that number again, I'll let you go. Uh, 
Seven? Damn it! Oh, come on! I didn't think you'd guess seven again. I thought it was being tricky. Okay, if you can guess that number a third time, I will let you go. Uh, four? Ha! It was three! You suck balls! What? Suck balls says what? What? You suck balls! You're under arrest! Ha ha! Oh, come on! You said if I got you the hamburger toy, you would drop all the charges! Then <laughs> you actually believed me? Did you really say that, mate? What? That if the kid got you the hamburger the toy, you'd let him go. Well, yeah, but I needed a distraction. Well, you can't just lie to the kid like that. That makes you a liar. Is that really the example you want to set for children? Well, Being no. Being a liar? But, no, but I mean... It... You know if you're a liar, Santa Claus won't come see you, mate. No, but I got such a long list this year. Well, then you need to do the right thing and tell the truth. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess you can go and I'm going to drop all the charges and blah, 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 and all the noise, 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 and the last can of hoo hash. Okay, so I'm free to go? Yeah, I guess. So. But mate, the captain wanted us to arrest someone. Hmm. Well, I guess we could arrest the Hamburglar. We could just say he was trying to burgle my hamburgers. Well, your mom was trying to burgle my hamburgers last night. Oh, come on, Simmons. All right, let's get out of here, mate. Okay, kid, we're leaving. But I'm going to leave you with this. <clears throat> no! Bear it! Stop it! Knock it off! Thank you, baby. Hey, Marvin. Thanks for inviting me over to watch the bowl. You know, I hate watching it at my house. My wife just asks too many questions. Like, what does the yellow line mean? And why are there Foot Locker employees on the field? And why did they get six points if they only scored once? And why is it called football if they play with their hands? I don't know, Karen. Shut up. I ask those questions, too. Marvin, can we go to a bar? No, I want to watch the game on my couch at home. Okay, fine. I hate both teams anyway. I mean, the Kansas City Chiefs? I mean, come on. They should be canceled and have to change their name. That's offensive to Indians. And the San Francisco Francisco 49ers is offensive to people who aren't 49. Unless it's like 49ers, like 49-year-olds. Hey Marvin, how many 9-year-olds do you think you could beat up in a fight? What? Yeah, like if you got attacked by a bunch of 9-year-olds, or, or maybe if they all stood in like a single file line and came up one at a time so you had to fight them. Why would they do that? I think I could beat up 10. I think I could do 15. Marvin, do we have any other snacks? I thought we could grill hot dogs. Oh, speaking of hot dogs, you guys see Drake's penis? Wait, what? Oh yeah, it's massive. It's like a snake. He was just wiggling it around. I think he was trying to get control of it, honestly. I'm glad mine's not that big. Mine's nice and compact and simple. It's fun-sized. Yeah, I'm actually over here because my wife and I got in a huge argument when she saw Drake's penis. She was like, why can't your penis be as big as Drake's? And I'm like, I'm sorry, Karen. It's not my fault that some men just have everything. He's got a big penis. He can rap. He's got a big penis. He can sing. He's got a big penis. He's rich. Did I mention how big his penis is? I was hoping it would be small because then at least things would even out somewhere. But no, he just has to have a big penis and have everything. It's not fair. Baby, what team are you going for? Uh, Taylor Swift's team. She doesn't have a team. She's just banging one of the players. Okay, everyone just calm down. Oh, look, the Super Bowl commercials are starting. Ooh, goody. Oh my god, doctor, how's my son? Is he okay? Your son? My son, you were just operating on him. Oh, him, yeah, he's dead. What? Yeah, he died. Oh my god. Oh my god, you couldn't save him? He got hit by a bus. It dragged him like five blocks. What do you think was gonna happen? There wasn't anything you could do to save my son. Listen, you seem really upset, so I'm gonna give you this prescription for some uh, antidepressants. Thank you, Doctor! Mm -hmm. Doritos? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doritos. It'll make you forget about your dead son. Oh my god. Man, that sure is a bangable doctor. I bet he has a penis like Drake's. I'd bang that doctor. Marvin, you'd bang that doctor? Rose, bang the doctor? Bangable doctor? I think he's a pretty bangable doctor. Oh look, another commercial starting. Oh, this one's my commercial. Wait, you have a Super Bowl commercial? Yeah, watch. Ah, <sighs> what a clear September day. And here I am, stuck in the stupid plane. God, I hate flying. Sometimes I just want to crash this plane right into a building. No, 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 no. You know what? I'm just gonna eat a Snickers. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, that's much better. Now I don't feel like crashing a plane into a building. Eh? So what do you guys think, huh? You know, that's actually based on a true story. Yep, September 10th. And then imagine my surprise the next day when I saw what happened. God, if only they had a Snickers, right? See, now they're required to keep Snickers on the plane in case that happens. The air marshal has one. Um, how did you get Snickers to approve that commercial? Oh, it wasn't easy. It took me 22 years and they kept saying, nope, nope, it's too early, it's too early. And then now, this year, since it's been 22 years and Taylor Swift has a song called 22, they said, now's the year, air that shit. Mm-hmm.
You're not afraid Snickers is going to get canceled? No, no. I mean, it's not like people are going to stop eating Snickers. <laughs> Snickers. Oh, look, there's another commercial coming on. Tyrone, our relationship's getting stale. I want something double stuffed, full of cream. Yeah, you right, baby. That's why I invited my homeboy over, Super Mega D. And I thought you could be the cream in the middle of this situation. <laughs> oh, well, I was thinking more like double stuffed Oreos, milk's favorite cookie. We can eat them later. You about to get double stuffed right now, baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah, come on, Super D, get the bag. <laughs> I suddenly want Oreos right now. Do you think they have triple stuffed? <laughs> okay, Marvin, cheer up. Look at this Skittles commercial. Get in there, boy! Please let me out. No, you gotta meet your new cellmate, Rainbow. Rainbow? <laughs> What's up, cutie? Come over here and taste Rainbow. Ugh. Oh, God. Get on your knees, boy! Taste that Rainbow. Taste. <laughs> 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 Spit the Skittles out! What a quitter! Marvin, 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 Marvin. C can, can you go check your mail real quick? It's Sunday. The mail doesn't come on Sunday. I, I think I think they delivered mail today. Can you go check? I, I don't think their mail is here. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. You're my buddy. I, I wouldn't do that. No. Oh, look! A Jimmy Butler commercial! Oh, it's not even about basketball! Hi! I'm two-time NBA Finals loser and zero-time NBA champion, Jimmy Butler. When I'm not out on the court losing, I'm at home making coffee, which is my real passion. Now, I know I've made over $200 million playing basketball, but now I want to make $200 million making coffee. So if you gave me the choice between winning six championships and having one cup of Big Face coffee, you know I'm taking that coffee. And if I had the choice between ten championships and one BBC, I'm taking that BBC. That's Big Black Coffee. So please buy my coffee so I can stop playing basketball. Damn it, Jimmy, focus on playing fucking basketball. Nobody wants any of your shitty coffee. Ooh, look, another commercial. What the hell was that? Captain, Captain, we hit an iceberg. The ship's going down. We're taking in water. How much water's coming in? It's gushing in, Captain. It's a heavy flow. We'll take these tampons and stuff them in there. Great idea, Captain. Captain, Captain, it worked! The ship is safe! I told you, tampons can solve any flow. Whoa, I need to get that brand. Hey Marvin, you think they really could have stopped the Titanic from sinking using tampons? No. Liars! At least my 9-11 commercial was true! Oh guys, look, a Burger King commercial. Wapu 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 McDonald's is clearly better. There's no way anyone would eat this shit. At D I C K, your boo tastes like dick. Hey everybody, it's me, Ronald McDonald, and there's no way in shit that you thought Burger King could afford a Super Bowl commercial. This shit costs seven million dollars every thirty seconds, and I bought two minutes. That's twenty-eight million dollars. Burger King hasn't made that in its whole career. I make that shit every second. Let's try it, Wop. Let's let's see. Let's give it a chance. <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> I gotta get this this taste out of my mouth. Oh, look at that double quarter pounder with cheese and shit. Come here, come here. Get close. I said get closer. Look at that. Look at all that meat. All that cheese is about to make me act up. Oh, look at you. Oh, let me just. Mm. It doesn't even make you want to chew. You just want to swallow that shit. Mm. What? What's that? You called your brother? Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Oh, hey there, Big Mac. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at you, Big Mac. Oh, you look so delicious. With extra meat. An extra bun. Oh, you guys gotta try this shit. Go to McDonald's. Buy my shit. We put crack in it. And it's good. I want McDonald's now. Do you think Drake eats McDonald's? Aww, now all I can think about is big floppy wiener just flopping around all over the place.
Someone's at the door. Oh, if it's Drake, tell him to go away. Nobody wants to see it. Except for maybe my wife. Hello? Hey there. Tom Brady! Let me in, quick. We don't have a lot of time. O okay. Who's at the door, Marvin? Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady, that's right. What are you doing here, Tom Brady? Well, that stupid Patrick Mahomes is back at the Super Bowl. I thought I sent his ass home crying three years ago when my Buccaneers bent him over. You did? Well, yeah, but now he's back at the Super Bowl. And if he wins this one, he's gonna have three rings. So? Yeah, you have seven. Well, I don't want him catching up to me, so if he loses this one, he'll be two for two and he'll never catch up. Yeah, it would be really hard for him to catch up if he loses this one. Exactly, so what I need you two to do is rig this game and make sure he loses. How can we rig the Super Bowl? I have a couple ideas. Oh, everybody shut up, my Super Bowl commercial's on. Ugh. 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 I'm retiring, it's over for me. Ugh. Mr. Brady! Mr. Brady! Ugh. What do you want, kid? I just wanted to let you know, you're the greatest of all time. Yeah, kid, whatever. Ugh. Mr. Brady, would you like my Coca-Cola? Well, you, you really mean it? Yeah, you can have it. Here, take it. Gee, thanks, kid. You know, you remind me a lot of my son. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get it, Tom. More tongue. You know, I did that last take 58 times. We got it right on the first try. I just wanted to do 57 more. That was just a random kid. Rig that Super Bowl, dammit! So how are we gonna rig the Super Bowl? I have an idea, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I got Patrick Mahomes' jersey. How'd you get his jersey? Well, I dressed up like a Kansas City Chiefs player, and I snuck into the locker room and stole it. Wait, you went all the way to Las Vegas and back? Yeah, and I gotta hurry if I wanna get back there before the game starts. Well, the national anthem's starting right now. Oh, shit. Singing the national anthem, ping and pong. Thank you so much for having us here today to sing at the Super Bowl. Ping. We gotta hurry. I bet the national anthem would go for at least two minutes. You can bet on the national anthem? Oh yeah, you can bet on anything. Like I bet Taylor Swift would break up with Travis Kelsey if they lost. No! She only wants to date a winner. So how can we make the jersey bad? Well the same as last time. We just take this skunk and we spray it on the jersey. So now the jersey's gonna be so stinky, Patrick Mahomes won't be able to focus on the game. That and his dad get his third DUI, so I'm sure that's on his mind. But if he smells so bad, won't the other players not want to tackle him? Maybe, but this is all we can do for right now. Ooh, you could tie his shoelaces together. I will try that if I can get close enough. You know what you should do? You should pose as one of the receivers, so when Patrick Mahomes throws you the ball, you can drop it on purpose. Oh, they already have Kadarius Tony. They don't need me for that. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And that was close, too, because as soon as I got in the locker room, I saw Patrick Mahomes, and he was like, Where's my jersey, man? Hey, Travis, where's my jersey? Coach Reed, do you know where my jersey is? Hey, Travis, can you ask Taylor where my jersey is, please? My jersey, man, my jersey. So I gave it to him, and then he was like, Thanks for my jersey. He sounds like Kermit the Frog. Oh, well, at least you didn't get caught. Yeah. Let's watch this game. So, score predictions, anyone? Ooh, ooh, Taylor Swift's team, 22, and the other team, 2. So you think the final score is going to be 22 to 2. Uh-huh. So one team is going to get a safety and that's it. And then the other team is going to score three touchdowns and go for two for no fucking reason. What's a safety? Can we please go to a bar? No, guys, the game is starting. We got to watch. Everyone be quiet. Yay, Taylor Swift's team won. Oh, no, the Chiefs won. You think Brady's mad? God damn it, boys. What the hell was that? I told you to rig that game. We tried to. We sprayed Patrick Mahomes' jersey with a skunk. Yeah, and I got his dad arrested for a DUI last week. How did you do that? Well, I bought him a bunch of drinks and I handed him his car keys and told him to drive home as fast as he could and then I called the cops on him. But that still wasn't enough. Now he's three and one in Super Bowls. Damn it, I'm just so dang mad. Where's my son? I need to give him angry kisses. Mm, get over here. Mm, 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 mm. Jeffy, stop it. <laughs> Marvin, 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 can we please go see Trailer Park Danny? Who's Trailer Park Danny? He's a famous country singer. But you don't listen to country music. Sure I do, but I only listen to Trailer Park Danny. I don't think we should waste our money on Trailer Park tickets. But Marvin, please, he's coming into town with his sister, who's also his wife. His sister's his wife? That's disgusting. No, Marvin, just watch one music video. You'll fall in love with the sound of his voice. Ah! Jeffy, I'm trying to watch this thing. Stop it. My sexy sister, I sure want to kiss her, I want to lick those pretty yellow teeth and grab a few beers and get in my truck, we can go mudding and hope we don't get stuck. Cause I'm a cousin wrecking tractor, pulling corn, growing bull riders, shoot gun, 
so good. Cause I'm a shine shipping, knee slapping, lasso throwing, cow camping, son of a gun. Son of a gun. See, Marvin, isn't he amazing? Even the kitty cat liked him. Where'd that cat come from? He has the voice of an angel, Marvin. That's why I have to see him in concert. Well, how much are the tickets? $500 for the front row. $500? Please, Marvin. No. <laughs> Oh, you made mommy cry, and now you're going to the bad place. Hell. Why'd you whisper hell? Because it's a bad word, and you're not supposed to say shit like that. You just said the S word. No, I didn't. You're a liar, and liars go to hell. Jeffy, shut up. Well, Danny, I could become a country singer, and then I could sing for mommy for free. You don't have a country voice, Jeffy. Yes, I do, Danny. Watch. I voted for Trump. Build the wall. Where'd that voice come from? It's my country voice, Danny. And watch this. Alabama football team, roll tight, Nick 7, 24 card, Jeff Gordon, 9, 3 octane's the best octane, yeehaw. Wh what? And the saddest day of my life was when Dale Earnhardt crashed the car into the wall, and the car burst into flames, and he died right there. And that was the saddest day of NASCAR ever. And NASCAR's never been the same since. But don't get me wrong, Dale Earnhardt Jr. can drive the fuck out of a race car. And don't even get me started on Hamburger Helper. I'll eat that shit up. All right, Jeffy, I guess you do have a good country voice, so if you go make a song, maybe she'll like it. All right, Danny, I just gotta call my cousin so I can make out with her while watching Old Yeller. Jerry Moore! Hey, Danny, what you up to? Jeffy, what's this ridiculous outfit? Well, I just got back from the stew cooking up some hot beach. So hot, I could fry an egg on my sister's ass. Yummy! What? Yeah, Danny, I made a music video and a song. Well, let me see it. All right, here you go. Check it. This song goes out to my beautiful sister. We've been married for six years. I love you, baby. I love my sister. Yes, I do. Yeehaw! I love my sister because she's prettier than you. Oh, I like NASCAR and drinking beer. I like mudding and shooting deer. Got two teeth, well, come on here. My truck's lit, just nothing to fear. You like big trucks, I'll give you a ride. Alabama football, roll tide. My mama's cooking, tastes so good. Don't talk to me if you live in the hood. I love my sister, yes I do. Jerry! I love my sister, she's my cousin too. Jeffy, turn that off! What's wrong, Daddy? That song was very inappropriate. Well, that's what country singers sing about. The only thing I didn't mention was losing my dog or my wife leaving me, but I'll sing about that in the next song. Jeffy, do not release that song. Too late, Daddy. Already did. Now every trailer park princess from Mississippi to Alabama will be wanting to lick my beanies and suck my weenies. Well, Jeffy, shut up! <laughs> Who's that? Hello? Hey, I'm big time record label manager Steve Stelberger. Is Jeffy here? Yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, you must be his father. Your son's gonna be huge, I tell ya, huge! Wait, really? Oh yeah, let me come inside and we'll talk business. Okay, okay come on in. So here's Jeffy. Hey there, Sonny, you ready to be a star? Piggly Wingling! I'll take that as a yes! Wait, 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 hold on, what's going on? Well, Jeffy released this new single and all the country bumpkins are going crazy over so the record label wants to offer him a five million dollar deal. Here's the cash. What? Well, that's a lot of cash. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. What does Jeffy have to do for that money? Oh, you know, just the usual. Sell his likeliness, his face, his voice, pretty much sell his soul. Jeffy, would you sell your soul for five million dollars? Yes. And just in case you didn't hear me, Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Why does the record label want Jeffy? Why are they offering him so much money? Well, the record label wants to replace Trailer Park Danny with someone new, someone younger, someone sexier. So the record label wants to replace Trailer Park Danny with Jeffy? I hate Trailer Park D Danny because my, my wife loves him and I want him gone. Yeah, they sure do. All he has to do is say yes. For the third time. Yes. Yes, we'll take the deal. All right, take your money. See you later. <gasps> Jeffy, look at all this cash. Shimmy. <laughs> Who's at the door? Hold on, Jeffy, count the cash. Make sure they didn't leave any behind. <laughs> yeah, I can't, can't. <laughs> Hello? Hey there, does that Jeffy feller live here? Wait, you're Trailer Park Danny. Sure am, and this here's my beautiful sister Charlene. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. You think she's pretty? Uh, yeah, she's very pretty. Well, don't go get no ideas, mister. Her teeth are mine to lick. Shoo! Wait, uh, no, actually, I don't really think she's that attractive. You think my sister's ugly? You take that! No, no, she's actually very hot. Okay, okay. Well, hey, listen, mister, we need to talk to that Jeffy feller. Well, he's upstairs, so come on in. All right. Hey, Jeffy, Trailer Park Danny wants to talk to you. Does you want to see my cash? I got a bone to pick with you, Jeffy. Well, I got your bone right here. Tell me why the record label calls me on my telephone saying they gave all my money to you. Because I'm the shit? More like piece of shit. Now, I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to lose my damn trailer, my pig, my boat. 
And now my sister's talking about leaving me. I'd never leave you, brother. You better not, because I'll tell Mom. Don't you tell Mama. Oh, I sure would. She'd throw your ass down in a well. Well, damn. Wait, is she really, like, your real sister? Hell yeah, we're fraternal twins. We shared a womb, now we share a room. Yeah, yeah. We got married at the family reunion. Hell yeah, and I'll tell you what, she was the prettiest girl there. Before I knew it, I was proposing to her at the county fair. Man, was she looking pretty sitting there bobbing for apples. She had one on each tooth. I had more teeth back then. Then before I knew it, I was on one knee proposing. And I'll tell you what, she said yes faster than a red wild pig scarfing out a chili dog hell yeah row tie. Okay, I think we're getting off topic. What are you wanting from Jeffy? I want half his damn money. No! Wait, yeah, he earned this money. No, he didn't. He wrote one country song. I wrote 53 about Sister Lickin'. Okay, listen, listen, listen. The, the record label said that you're old news. Old news? I'll show you old news. You'll rue the day you met in Trailer Park Dan, Jeffy. Come on, sister. Let's get out of here. Uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. All right. Well, just remember to wipe back to front. Always do. I'll meet you in the truck. Uh... Dang, she's so sexy. No, she's not. The, the bathroom's down there. He's hot. No, no, no. Listen, the bathroom's that way. You should go use the bathroom. Dang, do you think she'll date me? What? No, you should ask her. Would you date my son? Sure would! Oh, F yeah. All right, baby, go wait in my room. Danny, I'm gonna knock those teeth out. I wouldn't count the cash. No, no, don't count the, I thought you already counted the cash. Danny, I don't know how to count. You count the cash, I'm gonna go get some ass. What the Jeffy, stop it! Oh my God. Well, that is a lot of money. What the hell's taking Charlene so long to use a damn turtlet? I'm gonna go check on her. Charlene! I checked the bathroom, I didn't see you in there. You get lost? Charlene! Charlene, you in here? Sister! Oh, brother! Jeffy! You cheating on me with this inbred? He ain't even family. Well, he looks like one of us. Well, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go get famous again. I'm gonna leave your ass on the curb. Ah, oh, shoot. You're old news. I hope you're enjoying me and Daddy's sloppy thirds. You won't ever leave me, will ya? Uh, no promises, but if I find somebody else with one more tooth than you, then maybe. Deal! Alright, now you hop back on these beanies and weenies. 4,990,000? 5 million. All 5 million dollars is there. Oh my god, we can buy whatever we want. Our lives are gonna change forever. What? The news? <laughs> Breaking news, MK, Trailer Park Danny, who's being called Old News, is now New News because he just released a hit new song featuring the new upcoming black country singer, BLT. We will now play the music video for you. I'm really sad, my sister cheated on me, I don't know why she would do this to me, I want her to come back. And only love me But looks like she Doesn't love me Oh hell nah! Don't be sad Trailer Park Danny There's more sisters in the family tree ha. That's right, you don't need that hoe It's time to let her go Go and date your cousin man She's a 10 for show You got plenty other sisters Put them in a row My truck is stuck in the mud Could you give me a tow? That's right that hoe, throw her in the road. I got a sister with a big tongue, she looks like a toad. Forget them yellow teeth, want them white like a commode. I have so many cousins, I have a whole truckload. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Danny. You gotta keep it in the family. Ha! <laughs> Just cause she your sister don't mean she don't miss you. <laughs> Give her that pipe, you know she like. Roll Tide. Well, good thing we still have all this money. Hey there, enjoying all that money? Yeah, I sure am. Well, you never really signed anything, so see ya. Wait, 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 hey, you can't just take our money. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Me and BFT are on top of the world. Damn right, Danny, you better tell them. They just came in here and took all my money. You mean my money. I bet you wish you took that deal now, you would have still had half. Now I'm going to get my sister back. Jeffy, I love you. Woo, brother. What's up, homie? Other brother. Hey sis, what you doing here? Oh, you ain't heard the news? I'm a superstar. Love me, brother. Uh, 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 you gotta go through BLT first. Yeah, you know what BLT stands for? Black lettuce and tomato. And I got a BBC for you. <laughs> I don't know what a BBC sandwich is, but I know what a BLT is. Come on, sis. Gosh darn it. 
Yeah, come taste this BBC with no condiments. Um, Daddy, where'd my money go? The guy took it. Can't you just make another country song and we get famous again? Well, I don't know, Daddy, because I don't have a country voice. You've been doing it all day! No, I haven't. Try it, Jeffy. All right, I'll try. <clears throat> babu, bap, bap, babu. <laughs> Let's look at them. Yeah. What? What? Cody, they look so stale. Dude, I thought you had Krispy Kreme. What the hell is this? Well, Dunkin' Donuts was on the way, and Krispy Kreme was 10 minutes in the other direction. But Krispy Kreme is clearly better, Cody. Yeah, they make them in-house with fresh icing. Yeah, yeah, Dunkin' Donuts like delivery, like two weeks old. Well, look, I got Joseph his damn coffee, so hop off my cock, okay? Uh, I so, guess so. Joseph, how do you like your coffee? Black, like the lives that matter. Hmm. I'm just gonna take a sip of this. Ooh, that's oh, that's oh, oh, no, oh, get, 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 get the napkin, get the napkin. Okay. Hey. Okay, Cody, I got the napkins. Okay, wipe it up, but be careful, it's really hot. Uh, Cody, what happened to Ken's feet? Yeah, oh my god, the coffee was so hot it melted Ken's feet off. What am I gonna suck on now? Jesus, that's some hot coffee, dude. Well, Cody, what would have happened if you would have drank that coffee? It probably would have melted my throat. Junior, that coffee was way too hot. We gotta call a doctor, and we should call a lawyer, because I'm gonna sue Duncan down a uh, Okay, I'll call the doctor. <laughs> Hey there, somebody call a doctor? And I also brought my lawyer outfit because somebody said something about a lawsuit? Yes, doctor. I was drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee and I spilled it and it melted my boyfriend's feet off. Okay, well I have two problems with that. One, why were you drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee? Starbucks is far superior. And two, wow, that coffee must have been really hot. That's why we called you. The coffee was so hot it burnt plastic. Doctor, my boyfriend will never walk again. Dude, he was a doll. He's never walking anyway. He's not a doll, Joseph. You know what, why, why don't you just get out of here? Okay, you know what, I'm out of here. So doctor, what can we do about this? Well, I think you're definitely right to sue them because that coffee was way too hot. So hold on, let me get my lawyer outfit. All right, let's talk lawsuit. This is my lawsuit. <laughs> okay, so you want to sue Dunkin' Donuts, right? Yeah, that's right, because my boyfriend is going to have to suffer years of pain and suffering. He can't feel a thing, dude, because he's a dog. Get the hell out of here, Joseph. I'm just saying he's a dog. He's not a dog, Joseph. I just mean like he's not a dog. Not a dog, Joseph. He's not a dog, Joseph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I'm sorry, where were we? Uh, you were suing Dunkin' Donuts? Yes, that's right, I want to sue Dunkin' Donuts. Well, okay, I think you have a case, so let's go to court! Na -na 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 -na. We'll take my car, come on. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boober. Today we will be hearing the case of Cody Nutkiss versus Dunkin' Donuts. Cody is saying that Dunkin' Donuts made their coffee too hot and it burned the feet off of his boyfriend. Cody, explain your explanatory explanations. Well, Your Honor, I picked up some donuts from Dunkin' Donuts for my friends and they wouldn't hop off my cock about me not getting Krispy Kreme, so I was going to angrily take a sip of Dunkin' Donuts' terrible coffee, but then it was so hot, I dropped the cup on my boyfriend's feet, and as you can see, the coffee melted his feet beyond all recognition. I see, yes. His feet do look like melted caramel. The lawyer for Dunkin' Donuts, what do you have to say about the allegations of your coffee being too hot and whatnot? Hello, my name is Mr. Goodman and I'm the lawyer representing Dunkin' Donuts today. Dunkin' Donuts has provided me with their statement that they would like me to read in court. Allow me to read it. They say, and I quote, Coffee is hot. No shit. Be careful when you drink it. Coffee hot. Coffee be like that. Hmm, yes. Coffee do be like that. Let the record show coffee do be like that. Cody, what do you have to say about coffee hot coffee do be like that? Well, no shit, it's coffee. I, I think what my client is trying to say, that yes, we all know coffee is hot, and coffee do be like that. I think we can all agree with that. But there's no reason that Dunkin' Donuts coffee should be so hot it burns a doll's feet off. He's not a doll! Let the record show he's not a doll. 
Continue. Your Honor, my client was just trying, hard emphasis on trying, to enjoy a cup of that horrible, awful, disgusting diarrhea drink that Dunkin' Donuts calls coffee. Now, I don't know why someone would choose Dunkin' Donuts for coffee when there are so many better alternatives. I mean, Starbucks is way better, and even McDonald's is a close second. Their caramel frappe is the shit. I mean, when their machine works. But even Dunkin' Donuts donuts are crap, and Krispy Kreme is way better. I mean, they say American runs on Dunkin'. No, American runs from Dunkin', but but no, I, I'm rambling, Your Honor. My, my point here is that what few customers Dunkin' Donuts does have should not have to worry about their feet being scalded off if a spill should occur. Now, I don't know how much we're trying to get out of Dunkin' Donuts because I don't even know how they make any money, but his boyfriend can never walk again. And how much do you think that's worth? That do bring a tear to my eye. Attorney for Dunkin' Donuts, how could you possibly defend this? Well, Your Honor, all Dunkin' Donuts says in their statement is Coffee hot and coffee be like that. I mean, it goes without saying that coffee is hot and that you should be careful with it. Hmm. I wish I could see just how hot this coffee was. Does anyone have a cup of Dunkin' Donuts coffee? Yes, Your Honor. I have a cup of Dunkin' Donuts coffee right here. Oh, yes. Bring me this hot bean juice. Here you go. Thank you. I will now taste the hotness of this coffee. Oh, Jesus, good God, that, that is some very hot coffee. I find Duncan Donuts guilty. Guilty, 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 guilty. Ah, ooh. Yay, we won! Yes, justice was served. You hear that, Ken? We won. I order Duncan Donuts to pay the victim $20 million. Oh. You could take the mystery box. Which one will you choose? <laughs> well, I'm obviously gonna take the 20 million dollars. No, 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 ho hold on, kid. That mystery box could be anything. What if it's 40 million dollars? Well, I, I, I think I'm just gonna play it safe and take the 20 million, and I think that's good enough for me. But, but what if it's a hundred million dollars? I don't think a hundred million dollars is gonna fit in that little box. Well, what if it's a check for a hundred million dollars? What if it's a check for a billion dollars? It could be literally anything. No, I don't really think we should. We're gonna take the mystery box. What are you doing? Look, look, I'm your lawyer. I know what's best for you, and I wanna see what's in that box. Good choice. Hmm. There you go. Don't open it in here. If it's a billion dollars, I wouldn't want you to be sworn. <laughs> no, shoot, go home. Court adjourned. <laughs> All right, kid, I promise you won't regret this. Let's go home and open this bad boy. All right, let's see what's in this mystery box. Cody, what is this? Well, in the lawsuit with Dunkin' Donuts, we had a choice between $20 million and a mystery box, and we picked the mystery box. Trust me, kid, whatever's in here is gonna be worth way more than $20 million. It could be a deed to a private island, or even the Mona Lisa. Let's open it up. Oh, can, I, can I open it? Yeah, sure, Junior. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, guys, it's a box of f***ing Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, but did, did, did somebody say free? S scan the QR code, kid. I don't want to scan the QR code because I don't want the goddamn donuts. It says one dozen donuts. Let's look. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's not even a full dozen donuts. This is literally just somebody's leftover donuts. Yeah, kid, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I know, I just my curiosity got the best of me. We really should have taken that $20 million. God damn you and your stupid goddamn f***ing mystery box! I don't even want these stupid donuts! Dude, I'm gonna donuts suck anyway! My boyfriend's not that feet! Hey, call Cody! I, call I, I, I'm just gonna go, I'm sorry. Cody, 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 listen, listen, listen. Why don't we just go buy another Ken doll and put the legs on that doll on this Ken? <sighs> Junior, we can't just replace Ken. I'm not saying replace Ken. I'm saying get a whole other Ken doll, break the legs off, and put them on your Ken. Okay, but I don't even know if they still sell Kens. Oh, hold on. Let me grab my phone. Okay, Cody, I got my phone. Um, it doesn't look like they sell him anywhere. I told you, Junior, he's a one-of-a-kind piece of ass. You can't just buy him, okay? The closest you're gonna find is on Grinder. Okay, well, I have a bunch of action figures in my room, Cody. I can go grab them. We can, like, take the legs off them and put them on Ken. <sighs> I guess it's worth a shot. All right, Cody, these are the only three G.I. Joes I have. Oh, look at the yams on him. Damn. Oh, man, he could crush my head with those. Mm. What about this one, Cody? Um, it doesn't really match the rest of Ken. What are you talking about? I think he's perfect. Well, he's fine. But what about this guy in the middle? He's like, nung, nung, nung. his mouth is all weird. No, but what about this one? This one's like perfect. Well, uh, it's, you know, you know what? His legs are too thin. That's what it is. They're too thin. Are you sure it has anything to do with him being black? But no, no, of course not. It's just the legs. They're too thin. I, I like this guy better. His legs are all beefy. And you're sure you don't want this one? I, it, yes, I'm sure. I like, I like this one. Mm, damn. Okay. 
So not this one. No, it's a junior. No, I, I'm going with this one. Okay, you hear that, everyone? He doesn't want this one. It's just because of the leg thing. It's not. It's not like that. It's just this guy. Look at his leg. Damn, look at that. Okay, sure, buddy. Don't, don't say it like that. Okay, Junior, we have to take the legs off of him and put those legs on him. Get started. Well, I don't know where to start. I'm not a doctor. Did somebody say doctor? No, no, you get the hell out of here. Well, look, kid, I'm sorry about the whole donut thing, and I want to make it up to you by doing the surgery that you want to do for free. Okay, fine. All right, get out of my way, everybody. I'm going to do surgery. Okay, patient is male. His name is Ken, 24 years old. He's a doll. He's not a doll, doctor! Okay, he's not a doll. We're doing a double leg transplant. Okay, nurse, scalpel. Here you go, doctor. Right leg amputated. Right leg amputated. Whew. Nurse, McDonald Sprite. McDonald's Sprite. How the hell am I supposed to drink it? I have a mask on. Put oh. my mask down. Oh, sorry, doctor. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, mask up. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, left leg amputated. Left leg amputated. Okay, come here, Max Steel. Nurse tape. What? Goddamn tape, give me the tape. Okay. <sighs> He's perfect. The perfect man. Doctor, his legs aren't in socket. Look, they wanted a miracle. I gave him a miracle, okay? <sighs> All right, I'm gonna take him back. All right, kid, there's your boyfriend. Oh, wow, look at those hips. Looking like a Pixar mom. This video should be called Thick Ken. Yeah, did I do good or did I do good? Oh, you did great, doctor. But uh, how long does that tape have to stay on there? Oh, you know, I'd probably leave it on for a few days, weeks, months, years, forever. You know, just just don't take it off. Well, do you think he's in any pain? Oh, no, no, he's not in any pain. Look at that face. He, he is happy. Well, well, can we put his shorts on? I don't want him walking around with his hog out. Uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, there, there you go, good as new. Oh, that's great, thanks, Doc. All right, uh, yeah. Cody, he looks weird. Oh, of course he looks weird, Junior. He just got out of surgery. The anesthesia's probably still wearing off. His legs just, whatever. You just gotta get used to him. Come on, Kent, let's go home. Mm -hmm. When are you telling Jeffy that you're taking him to Disney World? I'm gonna tell him at the end of the day. Why not just tell him now? Because I want to see if Jeffy does something stupid so I can ground him and not have to take him. Oh, come on, Marvin. Just trust him. He'll be a good boy. No, Jeffy's gonna do something wrong by the end of the day. Hey, Donnie, pull this rope. Why? Because it'll be funny. What happens when I pull the rope? It's a surprise. Well, I don't want to pull it. Come on, Marvin. Just do it. <sighs> How hard do I pull it? About medium strength. <laughs> keep pulling, Daddy. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. What was that? You just broke a bunch of plates and bowls, Daddy. What? Yeah, I tied the rope around a bunch of plates and bowls, and when you pulled the rope, it crashed them all onto the floor, so you made a mess. Why would you do that, Jeffy? I didn't do anything. You're the one that pulled the rope. All right, that's it, Jeffy. You're not going to Disney World. Well, we weren't going to Disney World in the first place. Oh, yes, we were. I was going to surprise you today and say I was going to take you to Disney World, and now you're not going. Well, that's not fair. If I would have known we were going to Disney World, I would have never done anything bad. I told you to tell him earlier, Marvin. He should know not to do stuff like that, so now you're not going to Disney World. Marvin, now he knows, and he'll be on his best behavior, right, Jeffy? Yes, Mommy. All right, then, let's go to Disney World. We're not going to Disney World. Bye. Yay, Danny, look, we're in Disney World. You shouldn't be at Disney World. You should be grounded. Let's go ride some rides, Danny. <sighs> Danny, 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 can we take pictures with the characters? I thought you wanted to ride rides, Jeffy. No, pictures first. Okay, just quick pictures, then let's go ride rides. Yay. Hey, Mickey Mouse. Oh, hiya, pal. Want a picture? <laughs> yeah, can we get a picture real quick? Oh, for sure. All right, that'll be ten dollars. Ten dollars for a photo? How do you think we make money, jerk off? But ten dollars is a lot. All right, twenty dollars for you, punk. We're a person. I don't have that much money. Well, then you get the hell out of here. Come on, Mickey. I don't know what kind of fucking place he thinks this is. Well, uh, you know, I'll take a picture with you for free. For free? Yeah. Oh, uh, Jeffy, she's taking a free picture. Okay. Mm, I love the way you put your arm around me. Can I have your number? 
What? Uh, no, uh, Jeffy, come on, let's go ride rides. Okay. Daddy, 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 I want to ride Splash Mountain. Okay, Jeffy, oh, no, Jeffy, don't run off. I'll ride the rides with you. Oh, no, 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 I gotta ride it with Jeffy. Oh, come on, I'll ride them all with you. Oh, no, no, I, I am so uncomfortable right now. Well, no, no, I should be with my son. Where, where is he? I, he's right there. He was just screaming. Oh, come on, Marvin. Give me a kiss. Well, no, I don't want to kiss you. No, 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 no. Get me off this ride. Oh, come on, Marvin. This is my favorite ride. Where are you? Where? This is my favorite ride. I hate my life. I am going home. You want to ride again, baby? No, leave me alone. Hey, day, day, day. I got so wet on that ride. That, that's real nice, Jeffy, but we, we got to leave. Already? Yeah, we have to go. Oh, where are you going, baby? Uh, I'm going home, so just stay right here. Don't follow me. Oh, man. Uh, we're back. Yeah, you're back. How was your trip? It was it was something. It was fun, Mommy. We rode all kinds of rides. I was like, wee, and Daddy was like, bleh. I'm glad you had fun. Did you take any pictures? Oh, oh we definitely took pictures. Here, go through my phone. Tell her about Minnie Mouse, Daddy. Uh, that, shut up, Jeffrey. What happened with Minnie Mouse? Uh, she was she was just so nice. The no, nice, a little too nice. Yeah, yeah, that. Well, did you get any pictures with her? Uh, no, no, we, we had to delete it. What? Why? Uh, because Jeff Jeffy was flicking the middle finger in the photo. Jeffy, why would you do that? I didn't do that. Yes, you did, Jeffy. Yes. I don't even have middle fingers. Shut up, Jeffy. Um, yeah, so yeah, we were just taking photos and just, just keep looking at the photos. Okay. Uh, let me let me see who that is. Just just keep looking at the photos. Hello? Hey there, sexy. Well, Minnie Mouse, what are you doing here? Did you miss me? What, no, I did not miss you. What are you doing here? Oh, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you since you visited the Magic Kingdom. Okay, wait, listen, Minnie Mouse. I know you have a crush on me and I know you like me, but I have a wife and a family. I can't be talking to you. Oh, come on, Marvin. What does she have that I don't have? What does my wife have that you don't have? Well, she's a human and you're a mouse. Oh, yeah? What does she have this? You like what you see, huh? That, 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 I guess that's a nice mouse butt, but, but you gotta go. Oh, well, there's more where that came from. Well, I, I'm gonna go inside, so you just stay right hey, here. Marvin, who's at the door? Uh, no, no, no one. <gasps> oh my god, it's Minnie Mouse! I love Minnie Mouse! She's one of my favorite characters! Really? Well, yes, uh, that, you should come inside! Oh, well, that's what I want you to do to me, Marvin. <laughs> oh, okay, that's it, baby, we need to talk. Baby, baby, listen, listen, uh, Minnie Mouse, she has to go, like, now. But Marvin, I want an autograph first. <sighs> okay, a quick autograph, and then Minnie Mouse has to go, so can, can you sign this? Maybe for you, Marvin. Don't say that. Ooh, there she thirsty. Okay, wait, baby, listen, we, we need to talk. So, um, while we were at Disney World, me and Jeffy were taking pictures of all the Disney characters, and we were taking pictures with Mickey Mouse and Goofy and Donald, and then, and then we got a picture with uh, Minnie Mouse, because we had to get a picture of Minnie Mouse. It's the girl Mickey Mouse, and I put my arm around her, and she said she liked the way I did that. And Marvin, I'm done signing your autograph. Uh, oh, I want to see. Uh, Marvin, why would you tear up my autograph? Because she signed it wrong. She misspelled her name. She has to sign it again. We don't have any more paper. So, so you got to go, Minnie Mouse. Sorry, bye. I'm going to go look for another piece of paper. Oh, no, no. oh okay, listen. You have to go. I, I gotta, you got to leave. I hate you. Oh, come on, Marvin. You don't mean that. I do mean it. Leave. Here we go. I found one. Okay, look. Just do another autograph and only sign your name. Just your name. Just, just Minnie Mouse. And that's it. I'm going to watch you do it the whole time. <laughs> uh, let me go answer the door. Uh, baby, just, 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 just please just sign your name. Hello? Hiya, pal. Bet you weren't expecting us. Did we interrupt your party? Uh, Mickey, Goofy, Donald, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I haven't seen Minnie in a couple days, so I checked the location on her phone, and it says she's here! So where is she? Tell us, and we'll break your kneecaps! Uh, uh, okay, well, I, she's up there. Whoa, 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 Oh, uh, listen, listen, Minnie is upstairs, but we haven't done anything. You expect us to believe that, bitch? <laughs> Goofy, Goofy, go get the baseball bat out of the trunk so you can break his kneecaps. Will do, Mickey. Oh, no, 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 no baseball bat, no breaking kneecaps. Listen, listen, Minnie is upstairs. I haven't done anything with her, I promise. I knew it! I knew she was upstairs the whole time! Why would she want you anyway, huh? You're bald, butt! I'm a traitor! Everyone loves me! I don't know why she would want me. I'm asking those same things. All right, let me see it. What? Whip it out. Wh what? I want to see if you got a big one, huh? I, I, I don't have a big... Minnie's upstairs. How about you go talk to her yourself? Oh, yeah. Let's go do that. Ah, Mickey's here. Ah, Mickey's here. I don't know how he's going to kill me. I know he wants to talk to you. Marvin, I want Mickey Mouse's autograph, too. No, baby. I would not ask Mickey Mouse for his autograph because he's in a bad mood. He, he doesn't want to sign an autograph right now. But he's the happiest mouse alive. What was that? Oh, Mr. Mouse, will you sign an autograph for me? Shut the hell up. I know she's here somewhere, Marvin. I can smell her Chanel number five. Mickey, you ready for me to block him? Not yet, Goofy. Let's see if he talks first, huh? Marvin, what is going on here? Oh, there's nothing going on. It's just a big misunderstanding. What the hell is this? What is that? What is that a picture of? Oh, well, listen, the Minnie Mouse drew that. She loves me. I don't, I don't care how to it. Goofy, kill him! Say bye to your kneecaps, bitch. Ah! Run, me, run! <laughs> Open this door, damn it. Oh, 
work something out? No, you got till the count of four before we bust this fucker down. Uh huh? Oh, baby, what do we do? One. I don't know, Marvin. Tell. They're counting. Three. Yes, I'm scared. Hide in the closet. Four. Oh, get out of here. I know you're in here somewhere. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm so scared, Marvin. Me too. Oh, my God, they're right there. Shh. Where are they at, Goofy? Uh -huh. When I find him, I'm going to bash his brains out. Uh -huh. Well, when I find him, I'm going to cut his heart off and give it as a stew. I'm going to make a bite of curb and then stomp his teeth out. Uh -huh. That's a good idea, Goofy. You look over there, and I'll look in the closet, huh? I'm just going to start whacking shit. <gasps> what do we do, Marvin? <laughs> when he opens up the closet, we run. <laughs> And now we're gonna kill you, haha! -ha. What should we do to him first, Goofy? I think we should waterboard him. Well, I think we should get off their eyeballs out and piss off our skulls! Mickey, you're one sick son of a bitch! I think we should cut their ears off and shove them down their throat so they can listen to their own screams when they die! Haha, -ha. I think that's a great idea! Haha, -ha. ready to die? Any last words? Oh, no, please don't kill us! Don't Mickey, let me get the first whack. I want to see his brain splatter on the floor. Oh, I like that idea. Let's get to it, Goofy. No. No, Mickey, don't do this. Please don't do this, Mickey. They didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. You cheated on me with a fool. So now I'm going to kill him. No, I didn't. This food is only for you. Hot dog. Goofy, we're getting out of here. Oh, so no brain bashing? Oh, there's going to be some bashing, all right, huh? And you're joining! Well, don't have to tell me twice. Hey, Mickey, ever heard of the Eiffel Tower? I don't know what the hell's going on. Let, let, let's get out of here. Okay. This has been the weirdest day of my life. Marvin, are you sure nothing happened between you and Minnie Mouse? Baby, are you kidding me? No, I didn't do anything with Minnie Mouse. She's a mouse! Then how do you explain this picture? It's just a drawing. But it looks so real! She's right, Daddy. Well, it's, a, it's a drawing in Sharpie. It, it's, it's what Minnie Mouse wanted to happen. Nothing happened. Look, look I'm never going to Disney World ever again. Bye. Disney World, Daddy? Oh, no, no, no. You're gonna like Universal Studios. We'll start going there. They have better rides. Well, we can't go to Universal Studios because they have metal detectors on all the rides and we can't film at Universal Studios. Oh, just, 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 just find something else to do during the summer. Hey, Daddy. Pull this rope. I'm not pulling any more ropes! Cody, how was school? Yeah, did you learn about how long the Great Wall of China is? It's 13,000 miles, Dad. Dang, I didn't believe that. Oh, Cody, you got a little bit of a boo-boo. Yeah, it's a pretty bad boo-boo. Oh, Cody, you're missing your whole ear. Were you running with scissors? No, a kid bit it off. What? What did the kid look like? I know you poked his eyes out of something. No, it was a kindergartner. Cody, what are you doing fighting kindergartners? Why don't you fight somebody your own age? Well, I am in kindergarten. Wait, wait, you in kindergarten? No way! Uh-uh. Well, Cody, what happened? Are you too stupid and they put you back there? No, the principal found out I only had like four birthdays and it was a whole thing. Well, okay, I want a parent-teacher conference because you should not be getting your ear bit off at school. Come on. Mm-hmm. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Nutkiss. I understand you wanted to meet me for a parent-teacher conference? Yeah, we want to know why the fuck Cody's ear is not on his noggin. Ah, uh, yes, that was an unfortunate incident with another student who bit Cody's ear off. Oh, uh, excuse me, miss. Why does this crayon say Negro on it? Oh, uh, that's the Spanish word for the color black. Oh, uh, I don't see now. One Spanish kid in this damn class. You just wanted to say nigga, did you? No, I didn't. Excuse me. Are those animal crackers for guests? Uh, no. Those are for the students. Shit, I'm about to eat some since you want to say nigga all, all the time. Shit. What? Yeah, Miss Cracker. To be fair, you are a cracker. I'm so sorry. What did you want to discuss with me? Uh, Cody does not belong in kindergarten. He's very smart. Mm -hmm. He should be in big boy school where they do drugs in the bathrooms. Oh, so you want him to do drugs? Yes, it builds character. I want to get a call saying Cody got shot. Yeah, but see on his chest. Okay, well, uh, we can give Cody a final exam today, and if he passes, he can go up to whatever grade he wishes. That sounds good. Does that sound good, Cody? Don't speak, only nod. Cody says that sounds good. Well, we are certainly gonna miss having Cody in our class. He is irreplaceable. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? You wanna go, bitch? Yeah, beat her ass! Beat her ass, baby! I'm, I'm not, not the so bitch, sorry. bitch! Don't try me! No! Yeah. She's not the one or the two, bitch! Uh -huh. I'm gonna take this ear and sew it back on Cody's head. Yeah, do it, baby. Oh, oh, oh. 
Crackers too. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Crackers. Man, Joseph, I hate school, but Friday is the best day. Yeah, dude, it's the closest day to the weekend. I don't even do my work on Friday. I just push it off till Monday. Yeah, you can just sleep in class all day. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Cody, you still doing that kindergarten thing? Yeah, I gotta study for my final exam. Five cats, six flowers, seven balloons, eight crayons, nine cupcakes, ten tractors, got it. What exam do you have to study for in kindergarten? Well, this is the final exam, and if I pass this, I get to go back to normal school with you guys. Wait, but that doesn't make any sense. The school year's not even over with. Yeah, but a kid bit my ear off, and there was a parent-teacher conference, it was a whole thing. So if you pass this test, you come back to normal school? Yeah, and this is really important for me, so I really have to study. How many cats? Okay, five, got it. Okay, well, I mean, me and Joseph didn't even get to go to kindergarten. Yeah. Well, yes, you did. You've been to kindergarten before. No, we wanted to sneak into your kindergarten class and hang out with you. Guys, do not sneak into my kindergarten class. But it would be so fun, like, screw around and, like, have a free day. It is Friday. No, no, this is very important for me, and if I screw this up, I get stuck in kindergarten, so you guys are not coming. Okay, fine, we won't come. Okay, I'm going to school. Five cats, five cats, five cats. All right, Joseph, we're gonna sneak into his kindergarten class. Oh yeah, dude, let's do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> What's that? Did I hear you say you're looking for a free-to-play mobile game where you can create your very own dragon empire? Well then let me tell you about today's sponsor, Dragon City. Dragon City lets you hatch, collect, and evolve over a thousand dragons, even ones inspired by YouTubers. They even added a piece of the SML universe to the game. Build your dream city with magical habitats and awesome decorations. Test your dragons in epic battles, climb the leaderboard, and show off your dragon. Dragon Mastery. Dive into quests, unlock powerful skills, and join forces with over 450 million players in a community where legends are made. Click the link below or scan the QR code to download Dragon City now. Get the SML decoration instantly, plus 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the epic OV Dragon to kickstart your adventure. But hurry, it's a limited time offer. my last day here. Yummy! I got purple Beto spaghetti! I want some! You can't actually eat it in Beto! Watch me! <laughs> no, it's my spaghetti! God, I can't wait to get out of this class. All right, class, settle down. Settle down, class. All right, today is April 12th, which means today is purple. Purple day! Yes, it is. Today is finally purple day! Fuck yeah! Language! All right, class, we're going to go around the class, and everyone's going to tell me one thing that's purple. Alex, why don't you start? Oh, ah, grapes are purple! Wrong. Sometimes grapes are green. Try again, Alex. Ah, Barney's purple! Wrong again. Barney's stomach is green. He's not completely purple. Try again. Name something completely purple. Ah, eggplants! They're purple! Wrong again, Alex, because the stem of an eggplant is green, so it's not completely purple. You fail for today. This is bullshit! Anyone else want to try to name something completely purple? My mom's body was completely purple when I found her dead! That doesn't count, Mikey! I'm sure she was another color, too. No, she was only purple. How about someone else goes? Daryl, would you like to try? Bear, 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 b
You can do it. Well, thank you, Mr. Apple. I actually do have one more question, though. Some of the questions are repeated multiple times, like 0 plus 2 and 0 plus 2 and 0 plus 2 and 0 plus 2. Cody, 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 I can't help you with any questions on this exam. You have to do that yourself. And if it's too confusing for you, maybe you're not ready to leave kindergarten. Well, it's not confusing. I just thought maybe you made a typo or something. All right, Cody, no cheating. I'll try not to. There's no way you're going to pass that test, Blow. Those questions are hard. Oh, yeah? When I pass this test, I'm never going to have to see any of you fuckers ever again. Oh, Freddy. I, I might still hang out with you, Freddy. You're cool. Okay. Hey, Blo, you want me to sharpen your pencil for you? No, it's pretty sharp. I can make it sharper. Why would I ever trust you ever again? You bit my ear off, you goon. Hey, Cody, this is what the poop looks like coming out of my butt. Hell yeah, Freddy. Well, fuck off, Mikey. Give me my test back. Why don't you come get it? <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> God damn it, Mikey. Get back here. All right, Joseph, this is the kindergarten classroom. What, guys, what the hell are you doing here? We said we were going to sneak into your kindergarten class. I said don't do that. Well, we're already here. Okay, well, if you're already here, help me catch Mikey. Who's Mikey? He's the blonde kid in the orange shirt. I have an orange shirt. Well, you're not blonde, are you? No. Come on, let's catch Mikey. Okay. Hey, Daryl, I'm gonna hide in your desk, but don't tell anyone. Hey, you guys seen Mikey? No. Yeah. Wait, which is it? I ain't stitching. Wait, Cody, why is that kid pressing bear over and over and over again? I don't know. He doesn't talk. That's just what he does. Oh, Cody, there's Mikey. He's wearing orange. But he's not blonde. Well, that kid over there is blonde. Yes, but she's not wearing an orange shirt. Kindergarten's way too hard. <laughs> God damn it, Mikey, get back here! <laughs> oh, Cody, are you finished with your test? No, I have to make some corrections. <gasps> Cody, you spelled your name wrong. Your name's not code. I asked you if you knew how to spell your name. I didn't write that. Your name is spelled C-O-D-Y. D-Y, yeah, I know. Cody, you got everything wrong on your test. 2 plus 2 isn't 17, and 3 plus 2 isn't 1. I know, that's because I didn't write that. Mikey did it. <gasps> you cheated off of Mikey? What? No, Mikey didn't even have a fucking test. I was the only person taking it. Oh, and the only thing you got right was my goal, which is zero. And why the fuck would I even write that? You made Mr. Apple sad because you couldn't do it. Well, ask Mr. Apple who really took the test. He knows. Actually, you know what? Ask my friends. Mikey stole it, right, guys? <gasps> Cody, you snuck in your friends from an older grade to help you cheat on your test? But no! Well, to be fair, I didn't know that 2 plus 0 was 2. I thought it was 0. Junior, that's 2 times 0. Oh, do we jog our animal crackers? I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> Maybe your friends should be in kindergarten with you. Look, just let me take the test again. I can do it! No, I'm sorry, Cody, but there's no way you can pass kindergarten. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go beat Mikey's ass. Come on, guys! Wait, no, no, no! Actually, I have to check my phone. Do what you gotta do! I love my blocks! Hey, Freddy. <laughs> what happened? Did you fail your test? Yeah, I sure did. But guess what? I want to introduce you to some friends of mine. You don't have friends! Yeah, I do. We're the Skeeter Boys, and we're gonna fuck- Yeah, get Yeah, get the Skeeter Boys! Doing. Maybe he's just going through the punishment book to find a punishment. <laughs> I found it. What'd you find? The word nigger. <laughs> that Mark Twain is a literary genius. <laughs> but you guys, what the hell is wrong with you? Biting in a kindergarten class? And sneaking in here trying to cheat on a test? You thought I wouldn't find out? <laughs> well, we didn't cheat on the test. All we did was beat up a kindergartner. <laughs> You should have just said that. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? <laughs> I could send all of y'all to Juvie. <laughs> you know that? I could send you to Juvie. <laughs> Juvie. <laughs> I, I think he just likes saying Juvie. <laughs> <laughs> Juvie is kid prison. <laughs> you want to go to kid prison, badasses? No. <sighs> I could send you to kid prison, but you know what? I got a better plan. How about I send you to kindergarten? <laughs> Say, yeah. Sir, I I'm already in kindergarten. Well, your friends can join in kindergarten, okay? Well, and I got the perfect test for you. If you fail my exam, you get to stay in kindergarten forever! Well, I, 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 I have a question about it. What? Since we're going to kindergarten, yeah. it, is the video going to be called Cody Goes to Kindergarten? Or is it going to be we all go to kindergarten? I haven't really uh, thought about that one. Maybe Junior goes to kindergarten? But what about Joseph? Joseph's going. Uh, what about uh, Cody plus two? Yeah, maybe Junior and friends go to kindergarten? That's too long. How about Ju Junior's misadventures? How about Junior, Joseph, Cody go to kindergarten? Yeah. No, that, that's, that's too long. That's
pretty long. Thanks again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to grab your limited time offer by clicking the link in the description. Act now and get 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the epic Obi Dragon, and the SML decoration instantly. Go check out Dragon City now. Guys, are you ready to play Nerf guns? Oh yeah, dude, I'm so ready. You guys should probably wear some eye protection. Come on, Cody, you're ugly, but not that ugly. Yeah, we're kind of used to you now, buddy. No, I mean, so you don't shoot your eye out with a Nerf gun. We're not gonna do that, Cody. We're not gonna aim for each other's eyes. Yeah, we're not stupid. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep my glasses on. No, if we're not gonna wear glasses, you have to take yours off. Well, why don't you just put glasses on? Because it's two people that have to go find glasses and put them on when all you have to do is take yours off. Well, I'm not taking my glasses off. You're a stupid, dumb idiot. Wimp. I don't care what you call me. I'm not taking my glasses off. No balls take your glasses off. Okay, well that's ridiculous. Obviously I have balls. I got two big hairy balls. Somebody even say too hairy. Okay, there you go. I took my glasses off. You are so ugly, Cody. Dude, you look like a puffer fish. You look like your name's Ted and you sit outside of school in a white van. Did your mom drink while she was pregnant with you? I'll have you know my mom didn't even know she was pregnant for the first five months. So yeah, she drunk and partied a little bit. And then she stopped after she found out, after she celebrated a little more. But look, can we just play now? Is your phone going off? <sighs> yeah, my mom has a tracker on my glasses that tells her when I take them off. But why? I don't know, I just have to answer this. Okay guys, I'm answering the phone. Now shut up, I don't want my mom to know we're playing with Nerf guns. Uh, hey mom. Cody, why did you take your glasses off? I, I, I just took them off for a second to clean them. Cody, you've had your glasses off for several seconds. Wait, there's a timer on the tracker? Yes, Cody, now put your glasses back on. I, I will, mom. And how are your hemorrhoids doing? What the fine, mom, just shut up. Hey, Joseph, we should make moaning noises into the phone to make his mom think he's doing something weird. Oh, yeah, dude, let's totally do it. Oh, Cody, oh, oh, yeah, uh oh. Oh, no, uncle, get out of my room. No, you can't come in here. Please, no, I, no, 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 stop it, stop it. No, not my pants, please. Look, I don't care how many fun toys you get me. No, me, no. Cody, what was that? I don't know, but it made me sad. Cody, put your glasses back on. Okay, Mom, damn! Look, guys, we gotta hurry up and play. My mom's gonna call me back. Okay, let's play, let's play. Ow! Jesus Christ, you got brother! You got a God, 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 son of a big hairy dick in my eye! Well, Junior, why did you do that? Well, what did I shoot you at? Right in the eye! Uh, call a doctor! Uh, okay, I'll call a doctor. Uh, Can I use your phone? Yes, fine, use the phone! Uh, why is it sticky? I, 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 I I'm using, explain uh, it. Just, it's, I'm you know. using my phone. Okay! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Jesus, could you get that camera out of my face? Thank you. Did somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. I accidentally shot my friend in the eye with a Nerf gun. Jesus, what did you shoot him in both eyes? But, buddy, how many times do I have to tell you to back up? Oh my god, amateurs. Did you shoot him in both eyes multiple times? Why are his eyes so swollen? He always looks like that. Oh, you poor bastard. Am I gonna be okay? Well, I think you're gonna have a hard time finding dates, but can you see? Yeah, I think you're gonna be just fine. But you kids really should have been using eye protection. That's what I said, but then they said no balls. Oh yeah, I've been there, I know how that goes. One time I was doing a surgery, and the nurse said, no balls, you won't do the surgery blindfolded. So I did, and the guy died. But I mean, it was a tonsillectomy, so he's pretty much gonna die anyway, right? Like, a life without tonsils? What kind of life is that? I mean, don't talk to me if you don't have tonsils, right? Oh man, I bully people who don't have tonsils. Don't let me catch you without your tonsils. I'm gonna throw a party, and then it's gonna be a tonsils-only party. And there's gonna be a bouncer outside, and when you walk up, he's gonna say, say ah! And if you don't have your tonsils, you're getting thrown out of the party. Tonsils rule! Okay guys, let's play for real this time and do not shoot me in the eye again. How can we not, dude? Your eyes cover majority of your face. Well, just don't shoot me in the face. That's too many rules, let's play. Ow, oh, god, <laughs> mother <laughs> right my fucking eye, god son of a- Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, uh, we're playing with Nerf guns. Oh, <gasps> can I play? Well, we only have three, so ooh, you should ask your dad to buy you a Nerf gun. Okay, I will. Oh, my eye, ow, ow! Hey, daddy. Ooh, Daddy. Jeffy, stop talking to me like that. Daddy, can you buy me some Nerf guns? But no, Jeffy, I've bought you plenty of Nerf guns in the past. Well, those are old and I lost all the bullets. Well, I'm sorry, that's not my problem. But Daddy, I need a new Nerf gun right now because all my friends are playing Nerf guns. Okay, look, I don't have a reason to go to the store. I'm not going to the store just to buy you a Nerf gun. Well, I think you need headache medicine. Why? Uh, ow, Jeffy, why, why would you do that? Because I want Nerf guns. Oh, okay, fine. Now I'm going to go to the store and buy headache medicine and you a dumb Nerf gun. Thanks, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, there's your dumb Nerf gun. Now leave me alone. What the hell is that, Daddy? It's the Nerf gun you wanted me to go to the store to get you. That's not a Nerf gun. That's a Zuru X-Shot. What even is that? It was cheaper, and they're all the same, Jeffy. They're not 
the same day? I need to have the Nerf gun, the official Nerf gun. No, Jeffy, look, th this one's called a, a Zuru X shot. Doesn't that sound a lot cooler? Like X shot. That no, sounds I'm gonna get made fun of for having this, Daddy. No, look at the kid on the box. He looks like he's gonna grow up and be a cool kid. And, and look, and look, the, the bullets are black, and, and look, the gun, it has a, a skull on it. Ooh, that's, that's, that's pretty badass if you ask me. And and your your friends, they're gonna say you're one cool bean. One cool bean. Yep, that's, that's what they're gonna call you. So look, go play with it. All right, Daddy, they better say I'm one cool bean. That's exactly what they're gonna say. That's what all the kids are saying. All right, guys, the bean is here. The bean? Yeah, I like flicking the bean and eating vagine. All right. Whoa, Jeffy, what kind of gun is that? It's a Zuru X-Shot. Wait, it's not a Nerf gun? No, my daddy couldn't afford a Nerf gun because he hates me, so he bought me this piece of shit. Oh, dude, it looks so cool and green. Can we trade? Sure. Oh, yeah. Be careful. She's loaded. Oh, dude, this is awesome. I wonder how fast it shoots. <laughs> Uh, that sound brings back good memories. What, Jeffy, are you okay? <laughs> he shot that Nerf bullet down my throat! Okay, guys, I don't think we should play Nerf guns anymore. It's too dangerous. Let's all just get into bed and cuddle. Actually, you still might get something shot in your eye. <laughs> what, Jeffy, you should go tell your dad that you swallowed a Nerf bullet. Okay, Junior. Um, Daddy. What, Jeffy, what do you want? Um, don't get mad, but I was playing Nerf guns with my friends. Spit it out! And... and and Joseph accidentally shot me in the mouth with a Nerf gun and I swallowed the bullet. But you swallowed a Nerf bullet, Jeffy? On oh, accident? Well, now we have to call a doctor. Why? Do you think I'm going to die? Well, no, I just don't want the Nerf bullet to, like, turn sideways and clog your intestines and you get constipate to death or... I I'm gonna call the doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. So my son swallowed a nerf. Hold, hold on, hold, back, back up, back, back, back up. What? Okay, that's it, that's it. You, Ow! Come on, get Ow, your, geez. you need to get your shit together, man. You don't know what you're doing. I'm just trying to do my job. Well, do it better, okay? Pick up that camera. Pick, pick it up. Pick it. Okay, okay. No, back up. You see, right there, right there. You don't get any closer than that. Okay. Okay. Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That guy's been pissing me off all day. So, so what do you need? Uh, so my son, he, he swallowed a Nerf bullet. Oh, that's fine. That happens. Wait, so like, you don't have to do surgery to get it out or anything? Oh, no. He should poop it out in a couple days. As long as it was just a normal Nerf bullet. Well, that's all it was. No, Daddy, tell him what you did. Tell him how poor you are. <sighs> okay, it wasn't a Nerf bullet. It was an off-brand, like, Zuru X-Shot bullet. What? It, it was off-brand? Yeah, it, I mean, it wasn't a Nerf bullet, but they're all the same thing, right? No, 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 no. This is very bad. Hold on. Okay, answer this very carefully. Did the Nerf bullet look like this? Because this is a normal Nerf bullet. Or did it look like this? Um, can I see the other one again? Okay, uh, was it this? A normal Nerf bullet. Or was it this? It was that one. Oh no, that's bad. That's very, very bad. Why is this one bad? Because it's black. Why is it being black bad? But is it not? It, black is beautiful. It, it, it's my favorite color, actually. But but no, it, this one's black because it has lead in it. See, it was made in a cheap Chinese factory where they make the off-brand Nerf bullets, so it has lead in it. So he's gonna get lead poisoning if he eats it. Well, he swallowed one. That's not good. We need him to throw that up because if it hits his digestive system, the lead's gonna get into his bloodstream, then it's gonna get into his heart, then he's gonna have lead heart and he's gonna die. Oh no, you're Jeffy, Jeffy, you have to throw up right now. You have to throw up or you're gonna die. Just, just please, Jeffy, just just try to throw up for me. Just just please, just just throw up. I don't know how to throw up, Daddy. Oh, okay, just open your mouth and make noises like bleh, bleh, bleh. Ah. Oh, no, no, Jeffy, try harder. Try to throw up harder. Ah. Oh, he doesn't know how to throw up. Can you help him? Okay. I, I have a trick that models use sometimes. Just stick your finger down your throat to try to make yourself throw up. You want me to choke on your fingers, Daddy? Okay, that's gross. Like, I don't really want to do it now. Just, just... Oh, no, no, no. Just tell him how to do it. Just, just, just try to throw up. Throw up. Yeah, Finn is beautiful, you little piggy. Yeah, that's it. Throw it up. Throw up all that nasty food and get thin. Okay. It's not working. Yeah, it works when models do it. Okay, I, I have an idea. Hold on. Okay, this will definitely make Jeffy throw up. It's just an empty jar. Ah, it may look empty, but there's something in there. What? My fart. My big, loud, stinky fart. Wait, what are you, five? No, look, I grabbed an empty jar, I sat on it, I blew ass in there, and I slapped the lid on real quick before it could escape. Hey there, little fart. I got you, you little rascal. You might fart. There's no way this is gonna work. It's gonna work. I did it all the time in college. Look, all Jeffy has to do is take the lid off and then sniff my fart really hard. It'll make him throw up. All right, Jeffy, take the lid off and smell his fart. All right. Why, why are you drinking my fart? Hey, it smells good. It smells like beef and cheese. Oh, okay. Now I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh, hey, look, your stupid fart thing didn't work. Jeffy, Jeffy, let go of the fart. Stop drinking the fart. Oh, okay, okay, I have another idea that'll definitely make him throw up. <sighs> Jeffy, stop smelling that. Boom, got him Burger King. That'll make him throw up. Burger King? Yep, it's disgusting. I mean, I used to love it as a kid, but now as an adult, I get food poisoning every time.
Well, I like Burger King, hence the crown. My liege. Wait, Jeffy, you like Burger King? Yeah. Oh, man, that's not gonna make him throw up. Oh, man. We gotta think of something. Come on, doctor, the lead poison's gonna kill him. We'll, we'll make him throw up. Oh, hold on, I just gotta dig in my ass and think for a second. Wait, what, you're digging in your butt? It helps me think. Oh, I have an idea. Jeffy, smell this. <sighs> Yummy! Here, you want to smell mine? No, I, I'm good. Does it really smell good? <coughs> no, it's not good. Uh, Marvin, you want to whip? Uh, everyone, stop smelling their butts. Listen, we gotta find a way to make Jeffy throw up because if he gets, if he dies of lead poisoning, it's gonna be my fault. Listen, because I bought him this stupid toy. Oh, we gotta think. We gotta think. We gotta think. Well, I mean, you're his dad, so what usually makes him throw up? Um. Green beans! You hate green beans, right, Jeffy? Yeah. Okay, uh, we, we gotta get green beans. Well, do you have any green beans? No. And we didn't think of the ending before we started filming, and it's midnight, so nothing's open. We can't buy any green beans right now. Hmm. Well, I, I mean, I have this. I, I don't know if it helps. Wait, a printed out picture of green beans? You just have this? Yeah, I just keep it on me in case of emergencies. Jeffy, look, look at the picture. I hate green beans, Daddy! I think it's working! I think he's gonna throw it up! Hey! He threw it up! Yeah, he threw it up! We did! We no did. lead poisoning tonight! No lead poisoning tonight! No lead poisoning tonight! We on a diet! Alright, Jeffy, shut up. Alright, so we, we threw it up. Alright, Jeffy, so you learned not to eat Nerf bullets, right? Yeah, but you gotta stop buying all the poor brand! Yeah, I mean, he can eat Nerf bullets, just not those. Uh, hey, don't don't really eat Nerf bullets. That's, that's, hey, back it up, back it up. I'm trying to tell them, don't eat, ner don't eat Nerf bullets. Yeah, don't eat them. This is just a joke. But anyway, Jeffy, yeah. okay, fine. I won't buy you the off brand anymore. I'll actually buy you Nerf brand from now on. Good. Hey, uh, hey guys, d do you guys have your tonsils? I have mine. Well, I got mine removed when I was 13. <laughs> Loser! Tonsil-less loser! What a loser! Alright, I'm gonna take off. Hello? Is Cody here? Uh, Cody, your mom's here! Uh, hey mom. Cody, why are your glasses off? I, oh no, I forgot to put them back on. Cody, that's it! Your little tushy's grounded! Come on, you little bug-eyed freak! We're going home! so I can buy Fooskit Ball. What's Fooskit Ball? It's a game, PJ, we're selling at his garage sale. I don't have 50 bucks, Jeffy. Well, I guess I left my garage sale for nothing. No, hold on, PJ. I just gotta give my dang the puppy dog eyes. Works every time. Hey, daughter. Can you please give me 50 bucks so I can buy Fooskit Ball? No, Jeffy, we can't afford it. I hate you! Sorry, kid. Come back when you actually have the money. <laughs> Jeffy, I'm sorry. We just don't have money to buy stupid stuff like that. Marvin, our Chick-fil-A's here. Oh, so you have money to buy food, but you don't have 50 bucks to give me for Fooskit Ball? Dang it, they forgot our root beer. Oh, I hate it when they forget our drinks. Leave the lowest review possible. Okay. Look, Jeffy. <gasps> I got an idea. Why don't you become an Uber Eats driver? What do Uber Eats? It's a food delivery service, so all, you just get paid to deliver people food. You can make 50 bucks in a day, and then you can buy your own damn Fooskit Ball. Okay, I'm gonna go sign up right now. Baby, now that he has a job, he'll be out of the house, and I'll give us some alone time to eat our Chick-fil-A. Yay! All right, Cody, it's your turn to bowl. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Strike, bitches! Wait, no, you're supposed to roll it. You can't throw it, Cody. Yeah, that's cheating! Hey, guys, I'm about to go to work. Oh, where do you work, Jeffy? I'm an Uber Eats driver, so I deliver people's food. Oh, well, we're hungry, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Like, can we ride with you? Yeah, sure, come on. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Ah, that'll do her. Lawn's all mowed. I love the smell of freshly cut grass. Honey, I'm done mowing the lawn. I'm parched. Pour me a glass of Sunkist. Honey, the Sunkist. I want it now. Here you go, my hardworking man. Thanks, honey. Bitch, you didn't put any ice in this. I've been out in the hot sun all day, and you think I want to come inside and have some room temperature Sunkist? I'm sorry, I forgot. You know I like three pieces of ice in my Sunkist. I'll go get you some. Here you go. I don't even want it anymore. It's ruined. Okay, honey. Well, what would you like me to cook you for dinner? Well, I can't even trust you to pour me a decent glass of Sunkist. I don't think I can trust you to make dinner. I think we should just order some Uber Eats. Maybe some Mexican, like a chimichanga, and a chicken quesadilla, and some chips and queso. That sounds good, honey. Kids, get down here! Yes, mother? I'm hungry. Well, me and your mother were thinking about ordering Mexican food tonight. Ooh, well, in that case, I would love some steak fajitas. Ooh, and some of that extra white stuff all over it. Sour cream? Uh, uh yeah, that. I want a cheeseburger. Now, hold on just a darn second. Did you kids do your homework? Uh, uh no. no. Well, then you Mexican cannot have any food tonight, so go upstairs and do your homework. Aww. We'll try again tomorrow night. 
All right, honey, I'm gonna order some of this Mexican food. Okay, Jeffy, where are we picking up food from? It says we gotta get some Mexican food from a food truck. You guys like Mexican food? Last time my family got food from a food truck, my mom had to have part of her colon removed, and now she has a colostomy bag. All right, guys, I just got the food from the food truck. Can you guys hold the food for me while I drive? Yeah, I will. Give me a bag. All right, hold that one, Junior. Oh, it smells so good. All right, guys, hold this one. Yeah, sure, dude. Woo, this shit smell good. Well, let's see what they got. Oh, guys, they got a chicken quesadilla. Oh, and some queso. Wait, wait, does that say nachos? It sure does. Oh, nigga, I love nachos. Oh, Jeffy, can we eat some of it? Sure, I don't think they would mind. Just don't spill any in my car. Oh, awesome. All right, guys, we're here. Stop eating it and box it back up. Muy delicioso, sir. Hey, Junior, you want the other half of my changa? My quesadilla was mid. Hey, watch out, you almost stepped in the queso. No, Cody, I don't want any of the chimichanga. I got full off the nachos. But box it back up, because Jeffy has to deliver it. Oh, man. Okay. I hope you're hungry. Food's here. It is the food. Thank you, sir. Honey, it smells delicious. What the? There's queso everywhere! The driver must have hit every speed bump on the way here. Still looks better than you're cooking. <laughs> Wait, what What the hell is this? Is this a half-eaten quesadilla? What is that? And a half-eaten chimney? It looks like someone ate our food! This is unacceptable! I'm gonna have to file a complaint! All right, Jeffy, what's the next food place we're going to? I don't know, but I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Hey, is this the Uber Eats driver? Yeah. Are you full? Cause you ain't half my goddamn food. Now I think you need to issue me a refund. No. No? What do you mean no? You ain't half my goddamn food and now you won't give me my money back? You need to give me a refund right now. You'll be fine. Who is that? I don't know, I think it was your prank call. But our next order is chicken filet. I love chick fil a all right, Junior, I think there's some nuggies in here if you want a peep game. Oh, I want some nuggies. You guys want some nuggies? Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to sip on this milkshake for a little bit. Cookies and cream as fuck. Oh, honey, a Chick-fil-A is almost here. Oh, good. I can't wait to eat my Cobb salad with extra boiled egg. And I can't wait for my cookies and cream milkshake. I'm going to be a fat piece of shit tonight. But, Boyney, we're supposed to be on a diet. I'll go on the diet tomorrow. Tonight, cookies and cream. Boyney, you're already cheating on our diet. It's only day one. I cheat on everything, even you. What? Uh, hey, look, our food's almost here. I'm going to go wait by the door like a dog. Cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream. Ooh, it says he's pulling up cookies and cream. Does anyone see the house number 2159? No, I can't see anything. It's dark. And also, I'm eating chicken nuggets. Oh, that's fine. Oh, there he is. Milkshake time. Oh, I can't wait to drink it. Wait, where are you going, buddy? Oh, he's probably just turning around. Guys, I can't find this house anywhere. Yeah, it's really dark. You can't see any of the house numbers. I think we should just go home because my stomach hurts really bad and I have to poop from eating all this food. Me too. Yeah, and we can keep all the food because this cookies and cream milkshake is yummy as tits. <laughs> okay, now it's milkshake time. Yummy. What? Where the fuck are you going? I'm right here, dumbass. Oh, I'm going to have to chase him down. Hey, hey, jerk off. I'm right here. Stop the car. Jesus, what is wrong with this guy? Hey, hey, what the fuck is wrong with you? My house is back there. I couldn't see the numbers. Well, just give me my food and my milkshake. Okay. Jesus. Here's your food. Thank you. And here's your milkshake. Thanks. What? My milkshake is half fucking drank. Yeah, it was good. What? What the fuck? What? Hey! Hey! Hey, asshole! Hey! God damn it! Karen, I'm so mad I'm shaking. What's wrong, Boiny? That stupid ass, dumb ass, idiot ass, ass Uber driver drove past the house twice and I had to chase him down, and then when I caught up with him, he drank half my goddamn milkshake. Well, good, Boiny. You're not supposed to be having milkshakes. It's not good, Karen. It's bullshit. I'm gonna need some fries and calm down. French fries? Boiny, you're supposed to be on a diet. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. He ate all my fries, Karen. It's just crumbs left. Well, good. They're not healthy for you. Well, what about my 12 piece chicken nugget? Did he touch that? God help him if he touched that one. It's a one piece chicken nugget, Karen. Karen, he ate all my food, that bastard! Well, he didn't mess with my Cobb salad! Of course not, Karen, it's a Cobb salad, it's disgusting, it's not even food! I'm gonna get in my cop car, and I'm gonna pull him over and arrest his ass! Boyd, you're overreacting! No, I'm not, Karen, it's my cookies and cream! Nobody messes with my cookies and cream! Boyd, he just requests a refund! That's not good enough, Karen, I want him dead, I want the death penalty! Junior, that guy was so rude! All I wanted was half of his milkshake! I know, people are so mean these days. 
Oh, there's that bastard. Pull over, jerk off! Uh, guys, 12 is behind us. Tom Brady? No, nigga, the police. Pull over, Jeffy. Oh, we didn't speeding or anything. Hey! Hey, roll the window down, dickweed! Was I speeding, officer? No, but you drank my cookies and cream milkshake, so now you're going to jail. Get out of the car! Oh. Order, order, order. Order. I am the Honorable Judge Boobach, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy, the Uber Eats driver, versus Brooklyn Tea Guy, the customer. Mr. Guy, you are accusing Jeffy of eating, quote unquote, your goddamn food and half of your cookies and cream milkshake? Oh, I'm not accusing him. I know he did it. He said it was good. He drank my fucking milkshake, that goon. Mr. Guy, control yourself. Justice will be served. Jeffy, did you consume this man's food and half of his cookies and cream milkshake? Well, I didn't eat the food, but I did drink half the milkshake and it was good. Well, that's like saying you shot the sheriff, but you did not shoot the deputy. If you didn't eat this man's food, then who did? My friends in the car with me, they were hungry. Well, I hope your friends die too. Mr. Guy, control yourself. Now, Jeffy, you are an Uber Eats driver. It is your job to deliver other people's food. But you decided it would be a good idea to eat and drink other people's food. This is one of the most horrendous crimes I've ever heard of. So I am sentencing you to give this man a full refund for his food, and I am banning you from ever being an Uber Eats driver ever again! Hold on, right. <clears throat> and that is an order! Not good enough, sir! Not good enough! He drank my cookies and cream milkshake! Cookies and cream! I feel like not enough has been done here. There's gotta be a way to get the cookies and cream milkshake out of his stomach. I want his taste buds not to have ever tasted my milkshake. I want the Men in Black machine to erase the memory of him drinking and enjoying my cookies and cream milkshake. I want him to throw up the milkshake right here in court and I drink it. I don't want him to experience happiness ever again because he stole my happiness from me! Well, I can order him to buy you a new cookies and cream milkshake. Is, is that good? No, that's a different cookies and cream milkshake. I want my original milkshake out of his body. Well, unfortunately, I can't do that. So you're going to have to accept the fact that your milkshake is digesting in his belly. Then I want his poop. Yeah, his poop. I want to keep it so I can have part of that original milkshake. Done. Jeffy, I order you to poop in a container and give it to Mr. Guy. God damn it! Will someone please glue that thing down? Thank you, sir. Court is dismissed. Now, hold on. He ate my food too, Your Honor. Listen, we can't separate his food from his poop and your food from his poop, so you two just split the poop 50-50 and figure it out. I'm going home. Hey, Daddy. Oh, hey, Jeffy. How was your Uber Eats job? It was great. Hey. Oh, what are you doing here? Your son is gonna poop in this container, and I'm gonna eat it. What? He ate my cookies and cream milkshake, and I want it back. So go on, Jeffy. Squirt out my cookies and cream milkshake. Poop! Poop! Damn it! Poop! Why won't you poop? That's disgusting! No, it's revenge! Poop! Someone like 
encuentro un paraíso lleno de maravillas Los campos verdes, flores en mil colores Es el lugar de mis sueños lleno de amores Es un paraíso brillante donde el alma puede volar Un mundo lleno de luz donde puedo descansar Cada día es una fiesta, cada noche un sueño todo es tan bello Las montañas se elevan como guardianes del cielo Ríos que cantan un dulce desvelo
way you believe.